Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Now. Greetings. How's everyone doing today? Mute us again. Okay. No, no, I'll just type it. Okay. I was just being honest about my character's <laughs> class, and I didn't want to spoil it. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're you're free to reveal or not reveal. You you do uh, you do you. Oh my. Revealing time. I don't think oh I have a head. sheet though, Brett. Uh, yes, and you won't need one today either. Okay. So you'll you we're good to go. We're good to go. All right, so <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and. We're gonna play that. All right. So, we're just gonna dive right in here. Uh, last session, uh, which was a couple of weeks ago, uh, Deadbeats did what Deadbeats does best role play for two to two and a half hours. And it was juicy and it was good. We, um, you guys got high. Got high. Yeah. yeah. That, that is correct. Um, and, uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you were introduced, uh, to a bounty hunter who was apparently on the hunt for Logan since you still have that bounty out for uh, Logan Horn. Logan, uh, you were kind enough to tell your entire life story to the bounty hunter, uh, which you discovered their name is, uh, Buddy, who is a Cavus, uh, bounty hunter. It was tasked to, yeah, try and turn it a, a, a bounty, but it seems <laughs> that I got a buy. Yeah, <laughs> and but yeah. Um, Buddy seems to be more interested in justice and uh, more interested in justice than the paycheck. The paycheck's got to be earned. So uh, yeah, and that's uh, that. That is exactly what happened there. Uh, you guys got high, of course, dug into. Uh, Piper's stash of what was it, peanut butter edibles or something There's like that? Peanut butter chocolate brownies. <laughs> Piper, speaking of uh, cursed, Piper, you awakened with uh, this mucus covered all over you uh, until you were able to get this and found out that, that because of the radiation that you were sickened with, uh, made your skin all. All, all smooth, and <laughs> sticky. Yeah. I was a, I was a snot boy. You were Yay. a snot boy. You were getting that nice smooth sheen skin, and it was oh, wait. very weird. I have a question before we get too into it. Yes. Because all my skin peeled off, am I still baby smooth right now? I would say yes. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Gross. You don't. Have, you you won't have the you won't have the same effects as if you kept the. Uh, I just mutation. want smooth skin right now. Let's but go. But yes, for the next uh, next few days, you will have smooth skin as if you just had a thorough spa treatment. Let's fucking go. Uh, Piper, uh, you also discovered seemed to be working on a st interesting project within their room. Uh, do you want to describe what was found within your room? Uh, uh, Piper. It was a body, a body made to be a legendary, hanging upon the back wall, draped mm. in mystery, soon to be put together and executed. Well, it was shaped after a man, a man of no renown. Mm. It, it looked like Piper with facial reconstruction and everything. Well, <laughs> s sooner transformed to later, uh, as we had discussed, Buddy and Logan did get into the goods. And, uh, it, it <laughs> and <laughs> you guys, you guys, uh, was causing so much of a ruckus. Eli, who had been working late into the evening, uh, heard you guys up in Piper's room, saw the body, and I believe Eli took the body out. Is, is that correct? 100%. Excellent. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, and, but before all that was going on, uh, there were some conversations that took place between Piper and Dash. Uh, you guys were looking to assemble new, uh, why you guys, I mean Piper, was looking to assemble new skeletons, new zombos. Uh, I, we've got, yes, we've, we've got Max, Toby, Bailey, and, uh, and Pat. And I think there was another one. But I think those are the three names that you gave. That one's Toby, as Dash said. That one's Bailey, and that one's Max. Yeah. And then I, and I think it was just three. Um, 
at the end of that session, uh, or near the end of that session, uh, Dash and Piper had a heart-to-heart -heart with Lady Hellebore to learn more of what is exactly is uh, happening over in Alabaster. Uh, you uh, had some theories uh, come to light and some realizations that uh, Lady Hellebore uh, may be doing some deep charm magics uh, on Dash's extended family. And I think the agreement that was made was to to end it, to stop it, to stop the... We, we, you got to stop doing that. You can't do that. Uh, especially considering the fact that Dash's brother is, is about to wed uh, Piper's sister. And you guys aren't even sure if that's what Dash's brother wants. And yeah, I think uh, the agreement was don't stop it, you know, while my undead sister is there. Maybe get her home first, but yes. then stop it. <laughs> Do so cautiously. Like let's 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 end the charade right now, but not, you know, once everyone is safe and ready to go. Does that, does that sound correct? Yeah. Okay. So with that, I believe that covered everything. Was there anything that I missed? Uh, I have what? one thing. Please. Isla named Toby. That's my son. Oh, apologies. Yeah, I was going to say, Isla <laughs> named one of them. My apologies. Isla there was uh, <laughs> also the talk with Logan <laughs> at the very end. Oh, that's where it was. I was like, there was a turning point. And yes, the discussion um, that Piper revealed to Logan that it was Piper's father um, that had the idea of killing his son to get him off the case of facade and now with uh, heated determination after sipping a lovely uh, tea with magical properties that seems to calm at the emotions a plan has been hatched um, a phone a message was given to Piper that only said one word Europa and it was from a blocked number so, a couple of theories of who may or may not have sent that to you. Um, but it suggests that Piper's father, uh, Ignatius, may be over on the water planet of Europa. And uh, I don't know, was there actually a com Like, we, we, we briefly talked with the plan, but I don't know if anyone brought up to Buddy, like... Hey, can we get on your ship and do this? Like, I don't think there was yeah, actually no a thought. conversation. No, yeah, no one did no, that. That convo has not happened yet. All right, <laughs> and that I don't, is. I don't even know that everybody has met Buddy yet. Yeah. Well, and that is uh, that is where we shall resume. So we will keep it to um, the scene right after. Uh, Piper has just expressed to Logan everything that has happened. Logan has hatched a plan, and now we continue uh logan are you still holding your your tea sipping at it trying to have it quell quell your emotions how much time has actually passed since the last episode like uh moments? none <laughs> none. moments gotcha then yes 100 percent. i'm still sipping it uh kind of uh both glaring at uh i assume it's piper that's with us at yes. The well, I think it's Piper. Everyone is sort of like out of the room. I think it's just you and Piper currently. I think Dash was Dash there too because Dash is horrified. Dash is like, and Dash horrified because he also didn't know this. Yeah, Dash heard, um, but I think Dash is like somewhat outside the room. Is that correct, or is Dash in the not, room? With not not like not in the room. Yeah. Yes, but Dash definitely mm. heard it, and yeah. you like, and you'll see Lady Hellebore. Uh, Lady Hellebore would actually be with you, Dash, like over behind the room, just watching the conversation go down. Yeah, I, I would I would uh, still be sipping the tea then, but also like side eyeing this entire damn family. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Piper? Noticing the side eye, we'll say. God, I'm trying to remember who was out because I don't think it was Piper that was out. I think it was Hellebore that was out because he heard bad choices and was super into it. <laughs> I, I thought Piper was the one that eventually came out during the conversation. I might be uh, wrong. <laughs> it yeah, would probably well, be Piper talking. It was, it was probably first Hellbore and then Piper came out because Piper... Oh, yeah, and that was another big thing. Piper wanted to get to the bottom of, of his origins and how he came yeah. to be part of the Hellbore clan. And um, Lady oh. Hellbore informed you guys of that. Also, um, totally forgot. Very yes. important. Lots um, happened last session. 
the, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so much. There's a subplot now mm. where um, two characters have fallen in love, but <laughs> one character is also another character. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they've informed that other character that the other character fell in love. So I feel like that's a major plot point we should hit on. We we should definitely hit on that. No, I agree. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait for the eventual Logan. So what are your intentions with my son? Yes. I wouldn't know which one to talk to. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I think, so, uh, uh, just to ahead. recap. Oh, yeah, just to recap the end um, of your family origins that uh, Lady Hellbore informed that you were... Uh, you and your your sister were the childs of a of a drug addict, essentially, that sold their children to Lady Hellebore. And she had only the best intentions, but apologized for keeping that secret from you. That sounds about right, I believe. Is there any other information I might have missed from that? Nope. That's it. Okay. Oh, right. He's still holding his head. He will kind of then... Uh... Assuming there's a table in the room, he will take his head question mark and set it down on the table. So at that and that's why, unless you switch to Hellebore for the conversation, because originally Lady Hellebore was going to bring it up to Logan and mm -hmm. then Piper stopped and was like, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll do it. Yeah. I'll sort of set the head down and then he'll look at Logan and just be like, listen. I, I, I actually didn't know until yesterday. And I found out yesterday when I had the talk with Oshi. I understand and appreciate your honesty. And you can tell he's still like a little pissed, but also just sipping that tea. Didn't Logan say like, like, I thought there was a moment where Logan also said something like, I hope you're cool with me, like taking your dad in or killing your yes. dad or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember if I said that to the mom or it was him, just though. Piper. I was just yeah. Piper. Yeah. Well then, yes, for sure. I mean, like, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm yeah. definitely going to track this dude down, but also, you know, I can't get mad. Even despite being mad, I have no legs to stand on, so I'm just gonna sip this tea and and be a salty little bee. Every time the rage like swells within you, every sip of the tea you take, you feel it kind of subsiding, you feeling your head not necessarily get muddled, but like a calm just washes over you, just kind of suppressing the emotion, giving you a little bit better control um, instead of, like, having, like, an emotional outburst I is the best way to describe how the tea is a would affect you emotionally. You know, it's it's not bad, actually. It, uh, it's actually quite good. Well, what is this tea, again? It's Telebore tea. Well, and what, what does that mean, exactly? It's a Hellebore is a type of flower. Ah, and this flower is what exactly? Pat! Ha! Pat'll come in and he'll just point at the flowers on Pat. <laughs> oh, ha! this is... Actually, you know what? And he kind of like puts the tea down. I think I'm fine. It doesn't always grow on dead bodies. It grows naturally. No, I'm too. all right. No, it's okay. fine. It's it's okay. Uh, I like will, the angry self. Pat will nod, uh, take the teacup, and then walk out. I and would. Just, you'll watch as Pat just kind of like walks from side to side, and then doesn't even make it outside the house before just dumping it on the like it in like the foyer's like floor, and then holds the cup back and kind of like shuffles from left to right and puts the cup down and just goes. Ha! Good, good job, Pat. Yes, good job, Pat. <laughs> so, I'd uh, appreciate it if you don't kill my dad, you know, immediately. Well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, we need him I, for I, leads, I... at least. Of course, for leads. Right. Yes. Right. Okay, yes. Uh, look, thank you for your honesty. I know it probably wasn't easy to do. And 
Because of that, I will try my hardest not to let my anger or emotions get the best of me. Deal? Deal. I hold out my hand to you. He has Eugene shake it. Well, I'm sure that's some sort of legal loophole, but I'll allow it. Uh, so I think I mentioned it already, but I don't exactly know where he's at. And there's also, you know, some complications with that. Well, first off, (laughs) one, don't worry about knowing where he's at. You have some of the best detective minds in the world with you. We'll find him. Two is much more worrying. What do you mean? So I know he's on Europa. Never been to Europa. Don't know any of the cities. Don't know any of the stuff like that. So uh uh-huh. I just know the planet. That's it. No other hints. Nothing. Okay, well, Uh, that's the first step. There's more. Oh, no. Yes. He's, um... He's a changeling? I'm sorry, what? He, he's a changeling, so it makes it a little bit more rough to, you know, track him down to. Does anyone else know this? Points at his mom. She waves at you. <laughs> she awkwardly waves, too, like he feels like he's not supposed to be in the doorway. Well, yeah, Logan... Got- yeah, go on. Sorry. Continue. Oh no, I would say Logan kind of uh, goes over to the mom, just kind of like, well, I think or hope you would know him better than anyone else. Uh, is there any sort of sign, telltale hints that it might be him? Um. So you'll watch as Lady Hellebore just sort of thinks for a moment. Yes. I think I might have something. If you'd give me a few hours, perhaps I can make something for you. It uses the hellebore flower. Oh, good. Uh, I was going to ask you to gather up a lot because since we're going to the water planet and I don't like water, I'm going to need a lot of that tea anyways. You'll be fine, dear. They've manufactured... A plentiful amount of continents there. Your risk of sinking is especially low, dear. I don't like looking at it. It's really deep. It's all plenty full of deep water. I don't like it. Well, sweetheart, you might have to go underwater to begin with. (laughs) They've built plenty of labs and stations deep. He's just going to go over and start clinging to Dash. (laughs) I don't want to hear this. Uh, You'll you'll just, Lady Hellebore is just going to be like, oh, yes, well. These are the things you're going to have to accept, dear, especially if you're going to go to a water planet. Now, uh, dear Logan, and then she'll kind of give a sympathetic look over to you and will state, I will make this for you, no, no matter how you answer, so please be honest. What are your intentions with my husband? Honestly? Honestly? I don't know. This is a lot to take in, and I, as much as everyone else, want answers, and I want vengeance, and I want justice, and I just want some peace. To be honest, I don't know, and I have no answers for you. You'll see, you'll see... Her face, the smile that she has, the the, the warm smile. It's the, the all of it is what she expects. But then you say that you say the phrase, "I, I want peace." And you, as you slowly trail off, you'll notice her smile kind of sinks a little bit. And as you're talking, she'll step over, and just she'll hold you. She'll give you a hug. Uh, yeah, like- Logan awkwardly looks at the other two in the room, like, I, I don't do physical touch. And he just sits there and <laughs> lets her hug him. Yeah, yeah, like, you, you're just looking at it, and she she pats, and then she steps back. 
and she'll smile over at you um, before stating, I understand I'm seeking peace from the endless torment, the endless chaos. The Hellebore family, in one way, shape, or form, has been wrapped up in things that, well, we shouldn't be involved in. So desire for peace is something I understand, but not something I think we will ever receive. But if there is hope for you, detective, a word of advice. Whatever you decide to do with my husband, he's made his choices. And he's... What's the word I'm looking for? Not submitted to, but he, he's, he's made his peace with... He's, he's made his peace with his choices and the consequences. And what may happen to him at the end of his life. The wheel is in motion. It's not stopping now. And if it's his time, it's his time. But it's important that you take the time to reflect and to make sure that whatever you decide, you are okay with that too. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Don't act rashly, don't act impulsively. Come to a decision, follow it through, but make sure it's something that you can make peace with. But that's it. That's all I want to say to you. Logan kind of backs away from her and uh, nods. Uh, but it's clear that whatever she said to him, he stopped paying attention at some point. Yeah. And, like, looks her dead in the eyes as he starts to walk out the room, sort of wistfully saying, It must have been good to have a choice. And then just, like, walks out of the room. Dash. Insight. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Where is it? Where are you? A 21. That stung. That stung Lady Hellebore a bit. She covers it with a warm smile and continues about her business, but you can tell that that, that line especially affected her. Right, well... I should probably return to the garden. Being married to a changeling, I felt it was important to know how to clear any deceptions they may give. I'm going to make a perfume. One that should assist in revealing a changeling's true form, specifically that of my husband. Maybe that will help you. Thank you. Talking from Dash's side. Thanks, Mom. She, uh, <laughs> she'll look over to Dash and say, Hun, a, a word. In private, if that's okay. Uh, we, uh, with, with me? She nods. Okay. You can help me in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Piper, who's clung to him. <laughs> All you hear is... It'll be just a moment, dear. He lets go and goes and grabs his head and grumpily sits at the table. You'll see Lady Hellebore will turn around and go back, you know, go back outside to the garden, uh, the area that you were at. Yeah, Dash will follow her. Uh, here we go. So you'll watch as Lady Hellebore walks over to the garden, 
And you'll just see it. You'll see the row of, of the hellebore blooms just spread all out. Just all these white flowers just scattered all about. And she'll start looking and, and, and picking. She'll pull little, little, like, little clippers as she, like, snaps some of the blooms. She'll see some of them aren't of the quality that she approves of, and she'll just sort of, like, cut and then just toss them away. And then she'll, yeah, she'll specifically look over at Dash. What, how, are um, you hold, how are you holding up, dear? Uh, <laughs> as, uh, as well as can be expected, I guess. And she nods and she'll just ask again. Truthfully. You can let you can let out your feelings here, dear. In fact, it's good to know where you're at, especially before you continue this <laughs> investigation of yours. Um I don't know. I uh, I feel sort of aimless. I thought, I thought I finally had my life on track, you know. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm back to trying to figure out who I am and what I'm supposed to do. And I want to help Logan. She'll nod. So that's... That's all dear, I've got right now, I guess. Dear, once you've been around as long as I have, whether this brings you comfort or more worry, we're always trying to get our lives on track, find who we are, what we do. In the end, we can't let doubt slow us down, dear. We can't have worry question every decision we make. In the end, we have to accept the things that we can't change and march forward to the things that we can. Life's never going to be perfect. You're, you're never going to have complete control over everything. But I can understand how that is overwhelming and how it can leave you in a haze. And you're going through a lot as well. Especially with your, let's say, newfound power. He'll, he'll look up at that. I think he was probably, like, reaching over to grab. I imagine Lady Hellebore has, like, yeah. like baskets for when she's clipping things, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and had reached over to grab a basket and stops for a sec before picking it up. It's, um, not, it's not that new. It's, it's, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Eight or nine years now, but it's gotten, God, recently it feels like it's just. I'm I'm worried that all this time that I thought I wasn't using it that I have been using it by accident and I'm mm -hmm. I, I, well I don't know if guilty is the right word I just I've been negligent I guess I I thought that I was being responsible but I I obviously wasn't and she'll stop you to to calmly hold your hand. Dear, this constant struggle that you have, that's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Whatever actions you've taken, whatever you've done up to this point, sure, could you have been more uh, proactive about this source? Yes, but Unless you have an ability to, to to go back in time. Those things are in the past, dear. 
You can't keep blaming yourself for that. You learn from the regrets that you have so that you don't have the regrets in the future. Don't, yeah. don't dwell on then. Think of now and march forward with what you're going to do. <laughs> Understand, dear. Yeah. I am coming at this with a concern for you. But Piper is attached to you, dear. This feelings for you is deep. It always has been. And I wouldn't be a, a good mother if I didn't express at least some concern with that. It's... You're not just looking after yourself anymore, dear. You have him as well. And he trusts you. He's open with you. And my connection with him is fading the older he gets, I'm afraid. So in the end, it's... I'm afraid it's your responsibility now to be there for him. You understand, right? I, I want to be there for him. I, I just... <sighs> Lady Hellebore, when I... When... God. Um... <sighs> when Piper first summoned Talus, I, I stopped him from, from hurting him. Uh, he, he went to attack him. It sounds like you probably expected that to happen. I knew there would be some groin pains. But I, I was able to stop him, but not on purpose. And I don't know... I don't know how I did that. And it's... <sighs> she, she continues to listen on. That sort of control, that forcing someone to do what you want, that's thats the sort of power my dad would kill for. And I don't, I don't want to be like him. The moment, <laughs> the moment you bring up your dad and you say those words, her smile fades. And as you say, I don't want to be him, she just immediately interrupts and h grabs onto your shoulders. You listen to me. You are not your father. I need you to believe this. Any fear, any worry that you have that you will become him? <laughs> Ludicrous. And absolute falsehood I believe this but more importantly I need you to believe this yeah your father is a sick and cruel man and I know I shouldn't say that of, of one's family but And you'll see her lip twitch a little bit. Your... Your father... Made his choice a long time ago. That's why he is the man he is. He wasn't born into it. He didn't become it. He made a conscious choice to be that. And you have that choice too. Look at me. Yeah. That dash, look at me right now. You have a choice. Just because you're uncertain of where your power originates from, in the end of the day, you're the one that's using it. It's your power, Dash. And trust me when I say, if there was something in you that concerned me, I promise you, we would be having a much different conversation. Yeah. 
Oh, and, mom. and while while she's talking, she, her grip's getting tighter. And then once she realizes that, she just lets go. Just a little shocked by her outburst, essentially. I'm um, I'm gonna keep Piper safe. I'm I'm gonna do my best to keep everybody safe. I promise. <sighs> and the smile returns. I, I know you will, dear. And that's also why I wanted to have this conversation with you. <sighs> Everything that's happening, right now. I'm sure you understand it's going to get worse before it gets better. And there's a very distinct pet. There's a very distinct chance that Piper may lose his father after yeah. all is said and done. Piper may very well be alone. But no matter what he says or, or how he feels, there will always be some attachment there. And losing that it changes someone. And and Piper and his father have never quite seen eye to eye. They're both stubbornly independent. But Well, I I need you to promise me that you'll be there for him. I will. <sighs> I, I, I want to be clear about this. This isn't going to end well. Piper is going to need you. I know. And he, he will soon become the head of the hell of, of the Hellebore clan. That's what it's always been. And he needs someone like you by his side. So, that's... That's all I wanted to ask of you. It's just, stay, stay by his side. Be there for him when things... When things go upside down. If, if he wants me there, I'll be there. You don't have to worry about that. But, um... I... I felt for a long time like I owed your husband for everything, and... and <sighs> to be honest, hearing about all this stuff with him and Logan's son, it's... Well... My allegiance is to Logan. I don't think my life is worth more than his son's. So, if it comes down to whether or not Logan is gonna... Sorry, but whether or not Logan is gonna kill your husband, I'm, I'm not gonna stop him. If this provides you with some comfort. My husband has always been a calculated man. He understands the risks that he takes. And he understands the costs that he has to pay. Because in the end, he believes he's doing something for the greater good. And so he tends to meticulously think out Every part of his life, every plan, every day, every minute has been thoroughly strategized. It's been like that since I've always known him. He is not a man of, of improvity or impulse. He is Ignatius Hellebore. He knows what needs to be done and he does it. So, whatever consequences he has to pay for, he's already thought of it. He's already understood. But, 
there was one time in our entire marriage, there has been one time where he acted impulsively, without stratagem, without any plan whatsoever, just on pure emotion, passion, and impulse. It was that night when he saved you. That was the only time. <laughs> I don't even think he even thought out what would be the punishment for doing such a thing. That was it. My, my boy, you owe your thanks to a, to an impulse. You don't owe him anything. So you do what you have to do. I won't think of you any less or any differently. Dash will nod and look down at the basket. Thank you. Yes, that's actually, as you're looking down, it's like, that's perfect, actually. And she'll take it. And she'll say, if you give me a few hours, I'll, I'll work on something for you. Okay. Thank you for your help. She nods, and then she'll return back to the greenhouse as she walks away and closes the door behind her. Yeah, I think Dash will stay in the garden, just kind of like pacing around a bit, just sort of winding down from the conversation. Okay. Uh, during these few hour times, is there anything else, uh, you guys would be doing? What's Buddy doing? What's Eli doing? What are those crazy kids up to? Well, let's go ahead and look back. Um, so I'll check with Eli, because, uh, Buddy, well, no one's talked to Buddy yet, so I was about to say, Buddy, you guys get ready to Buddy's go. That's like, potty. yeah, Buddy's just gone. <laughs> the ship takes off, and it's like, mm -hmm. um... Yeah, Eli, what are you what are you currently working on? Um, if we picked up exactly where we left off before, Eli would probably be asleep. I think he was preparing to do so. Oh yeah, that's right. You were you were up throughout the evening. That's yeah. totally right. Okay. So we've got that. Uh buddy, what are you doing? Are you coming down from your high? Uh yeah, he's he's finished the high now. I think he's probably Wandered downstairs, and he's uh, he's, he's kind of preparing all of his gear, and he's kind of cleaning through his shotgun, lit another cigar. Now he's just kind of sitting in the corner, and he's, I imagine like he's kind of one of those rude house guests, which he's kind of like taking one of the towels he can nearby, and he's just losing it to clean the uh, ends of his shotgun. <laughs> and he's kind of watching everyone else in the kind of corner of the room. Yeah, Logan, what are you doing as Buddy walks downstairs, like cleaning out his little shotgun? Uh. I would probably be, I'm trying to think, it's been some time since I've left the room, yes? Um, not, I wouldn't say some time. I mean, everything's still happening in, in motion. This is probably when the conversation between gotcha. Dash and, uh, and Lady Hellebor is taking place. Yeah, so uh, I would probably be in a huff uh, trying to find the exit to outside I think, buddy, you would notice that immediately, just like the happy-go-lucky Logan that you were talking with just walks, just storms outside, clearly upset about something. You'll follow him out. Uh, he throws the towel over his shoulder, kind of steps outside. Well, is it is it like sunny day or is it rainy or is it anything? No, it's, it's sunny. It's sunny. Okay. Beautiful day um, in Wendelin. He kind of just steps outside and uh, looks up and goes, Oi, mate. What, buddy, what? What's with all the talking? Am I going to get down to some action? Oh, I can only hope. I'm sick and tired of this place. I hate it here. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. All right. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just... I'm sure you've had to deal with your fair share of the 
upper crust, as it were. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of those who actually are the ones are in. Yes, well, I hate them all. And it's just another example of why I hate them. I get it, mate. I do. Here's the thing. Sitting back in there moping over it. It's not going to change anything. Where you got to be? Apparently, we have to be at Europa. Oh, fuck it out. All right. That's a trip. Yes, and we don't have a ride, and we, uh... I guess have to go there and track down a changeling who can... Well, as you can probably tell by the name, Change. And uh, already one of them has issues with water, and that's pretty much Europa's thing. And then I just yeah. found out that... One of their fathers, potentially, at least from what they're told, was involved in the murder of my child and had to listen to some nonsense from said murderer's wife. And now, well, here we are. The person out there is Changeling. They were involved with the killing of your boy. Yes, yes, it appears that way, but I learned long ago as a detective not to ever truly believe anyone's word until you have proof, and so, despite them being my companions and saying they're honest until I have definitive proof, I just have to accept it's just another case. He sort of, like, rubs his eyebrows. Well, I guess the best proof is, uh, straight from the horse's mouth, right? That is the intention. You've got no way of getting to Europa. No way to get to Europa, no. I do. Uh, how can I put this delicately? Uh, is your way of conveyance a means which, say, I don't know, a person of my stature could fit in? Mate, I've hunted things much larger than you. Of course I've got a ship that's big enough to fit you in. Right, and and the others? Yeah, 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 your band of merry men, yeah, they can all come too. And it's not in some sort of storage and or prison section of the ship? No. No, I've got rooms. Unless any of them starts fucking with my things. In which case, yeah, they can ride in the brig. I'm almost certain they will and probably are going to fuck with your things. Just um, so we're clear. Buddy, just so you're aware with your ship, uh, <laughs> you have plenty of prison cells. You definitely, you that can be converted into living spaces if you'd okay. like. <laughs> no, it's comfortable. You know, it's comfortable. I make sure that, you know, if I'm taking in someone alive, they have a place where, you know, this might be the last bit of comfort they get for a long while. So... It'll do. No window view, you, so sorry about that. Well, to be honest, half of them started in prison cells, so it's probably fine. Wait, what? Nothing. No, it's... <sighs> it's been a long adventure. Just so much fun. Where the hell is that tea? He, like, walks back inside. <laughs> you go back to the empty cup that Pat emptied out. <laughs> Pat, where are you, you stupid skeleton? Ha! Aha, indeed, Pat, yes. Pat, Pat has a top hat. Ah, I see you have a top hat now. That is so quirky. He, like, starts picking the flowers. <laughs> like, off of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pat's uh, head, skull, I suppose, slowly creaks over to where you're pulling the flowers. No sound, just looking at what you're doing. Almost with this look of like, the fuck you doing? Yeah, I, I gave him a look back like, what the fuck you think I'm doing? <laughs> and slowly creaks back up looking at you. He just stares yeah. at you while you're just taking flowers off. I like to imagine yeah. that the other zombies and skeletons like to surround Logan as backup for Pat in case Pat needs it. Well, uh, where are they? Are they? Were they with? They're probably uh, around. They're probably with Pat. 
And they slowly just kind of like stare at you. And, yes, uh, yes. What's your name again? Uh, Chance, Chase, Chaz, something terrible. <gasps> right, yes. That's good, that's good. And uh, what about you, Tony? What's your what's your deal? L lovely, lovely talking with you all. All right, well, I'm gonna take these and make tea now. As you return back to the teapot in the empty cup, you'll lift the teapot open to see that you still have half a teapot of tea still remaining. Only the cup is empty. <sighs> well. He walks back over to Pat and, like, puts the leaves in his Pat, top hat. Pat holds up his hand as if to say, no, no. <laughs> uh, all right, well, here you go. And he sort of pats his hand. Uh, ha! Yes. High five. Uh, ha! <laughs> like the most half-assed high five. Then you'll, you'll grab the tea. Okay. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Isla, what are you currently doing? Um, the last thing I remember Isla doing was she was in the uh catacombs, right, with Piper and Dash. Just waiting so I... <laughs> for them to come back. <laughs> I don't think she'd be waiting that long. I think she would have just started wandering, probably sipping her coffee and just taking a breather from all of the chaos that has been going down. Okay. So you kind of like go back upstairs. You'll see Logan sipping at the tea, just sort of feeling a little like calm or as calm as as they can be. Mm -hmm. And then, is there anything in particular that you'd be doing? Uh not not in particular. No. Okay. Uh, Piper, while all this is going on, what are you doing? You probably would get antsy and sick of waiting, so we'd head over to the workshop to work on potions. Okay. Okay, Doki. Uh, what kind of potions are you looking to make? Just more healing as always. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, do me a favor. Um, so as you return back to the workshop, uh, if being a part of the, if being at the Hellebore State. Uh, you see a plentiful amount of materials that you can go ahead and take and make potions from uh, without <laughs> spending any material components of your own. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Indeed. Uh, so, make sure we got this. I think I'm on this one. Okay. Do me a favor and use your alchemist supplies, and we'll see how you do today. You got it. I'm just like, right, click me. There I am. <laughs> and what, uh, what potions are you are you making? Just regular healing potions? Uh, yes. I don't believe any. I don't. Ha I didn't have any special herbs or anything like that. So no, it's like plant effects. Um, I'll use the long strider effect on them though. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and make some potions, then apply a long strider to them. Yes. Okie dokie. So what we'll do uh, to supplement all that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hold on one second. I got to take a look. Okay. Um, just a real, real, just a real quick look over here. Ba -ba 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 -do. Okay. Go ahead and give me a check. Uh, okay. We got that. And you're doing long strider. So it'll up, up that. Okay. Uh, with an 18, uh, you will spend uh, the correct market amount of materials for a potion of healing, as well as the long strider effect. So you're probably looking at about a 250 gold piece or credit expense, but that's okay. You already have the materials there. You don't spend any of that. An 18 allows you to yield a second potion, so you're able to you were able to successfully craft two potions of long strider. A Let's healing go. potions of Longstrider. Excellent. Indeed. So oh. that's what you'll be be doing over the next few hours is just trying to make some potions. There we go. Longstrider potion of healing. I will drag that into your inventory, and you will have uh two of them. I think also during this time he would 
<laughs> he's, he's sending his mom because he's too lazy to leave the workshop. Mm -hmm. He's sending his mom. Hey, if we're going to space or something, can you take the money out of my account and I get it in actual credits, please? So we're not broke. Uh, since if, after you finish the Can potions, even use that in space. Maybe they have a currency exchange. <laughs> oh, credits! Yeah, credits. Yeah. Credits is the galactic currency. Oh, God bless. Uh, so you'll watch as uh, Lady Hellebore walks downstairs. Uh, she seems to be holding a basket of of a variety of vials. Uh, each of them with sort of like this uh, smoky looking liquid. Uh, ten tiny vials. As she'll uh, walk downstairs, she'll place them down, uh, and then she'll state, you said you wanted the credits physically, correct? I suppose that would make sense. You are still wanted. <laughs> yeah, I, we couldn't do bank accounts, so all of the money you put in my bank account has, has not been touched, because that would be like, Hey, if I access an ATM, they'd be like, oh, look, they're over there. She hands you, uh, as you're, like, talking about this, like, you know, just going on about it. Uh, she will hand you um, a, a, a credit. Uh, and the credit on there, she says, I made sure to directly put the amount on there. Um, this should suffice for you, I hope. And she will hand you a credit uh, that has a value of 1,000 credits. Thank you, Mom. Mm hmm You know if we have an extra bag of holding, by the way, for the boys. I feel bad using Eli's all the time. Oh, yes, dear. You, I believe your husband left one in the workshop. Oh, thank God. Thanks, uh, Mom. Goes to look for it. <laughs> Yeah, you immediately go back to the workshop that Eli was at, and you immediately spot the uh, bag of holding. Uh, still empty, by the way. As he's walking away, he would have said to his mom, You better not have scared Dash in the greenhouse! Oh no, dear. We were just having a lovely chat about you. And then she, like, <laughs> chuckles to herself. He turns around and says, About what? You. I hate that. Don't do that. And you don't like me talking to your boyfriend? Why do you know that? <laughs> she smiles and she pats she pats you on the cheek and says, uh, mother knows. I wanna dear, die I've been, again. I wanna dear, die again. He goes, he leaves. Dear, I've been watching you do this for years now with him. It was a matter of time. <laughs> Vomit. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, so she also hands you, uh, uh, ten hellebore perfumes. Let's go! Uh, if you, uh, have this scent on you, um, it lasts, uh, a couple of hours, um, but it makes it difficult for, specifically, Ignatius Hellebore to remain in his form. Damn, neat. Uh, I put that in the new bag of holding that I'm going to find! All right. Uh, after, like I said, some time, you would get that bag of holding. Easy peasy. Let's go. Ten hellebore perfumes have been added to your inventory. Eli, I never have to ask you to spend an action on my boy again. I'm sorry. You, you go into his bedroom and scream that? <laughs> no, I'm saying it's a snake, though. I can uh, I can free up uh, an infusion slot. Oh, true. All right. So before we move on, because um, I'm assuming there will eventually be a party meeting, probably more towards the late evening of what the plan is. is does that sound correct? Or is there something else that you guys would do before you <laughs> introduce everyone to Buddy who hasn't met Buddy yet? Who hasn't, who hasn't met right Buddy? Me. I think we've all met Buddy. I think, we, I think everyone's think met me. Buddy at this point. In passing, but uh, yeah, I mean, definitely didn't he really was say it very anymore. high for some of it. I think, yeah, yeah, he was high for a lot of it. So the afternoon will pass by with all the projects that you guys have worked on, and eventually, you all uh, will probably, unless someone's doing something, gather at the foyer. Uh, Eli, you would have finished your long rest, uh, and you would have your steel defender with you. 
but it'd be the first time you all would grab, uh, gather around as a group. And Pinchy's here too. Pinchy. God, I love yeah. him. So, boy. Um, so who wants to bring up what's what the situ the situation? What's going on? It's got to be one of you. <laughs> Piper looks at Logan. It wouldn't be me. <laughs> wouldn't be yeah, me. Yeah, it's probably me. Uh, <laughs> Logan's Logan. like, damn it. All right. <laughs> I am the group leader. Fuck. Oh, boy. Uh, thank you all for gathering. So, um, the situation is as follows. Our lead at the moment is that... Piper and or Hellebore's father is, in fact, uh, the cause of many of our problems, and so he is the next person we must find. However, he is, one, a changeling, and two, on Europa. Uh, thankfully, we have been given a means of conveyance, Thanks to our new associate here, Buddy. Uh, Buddy, if you would so kindly, um, I guess, introduce yourself to the group. Pinchy Go leans on. over Logan, looking at Buddy. Go on, mate. How's it going? I'm Buddy. What so is small. that? Yes. Oh, wait, you're a part of the group? Wait, did I miss something? Whoa, 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 no, I didn't join your little... Little group here. No, 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 no. I'm group adjacent. <laughs> After you say that, Pinchy goes, Yeah, you'll believe that at first. Wait a minute. Not you are. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the most dangerous things in all of the uh, outer space. We domesticated him. Pinchy waves, Wait, well. waves, Pinchy waves their hand. Huh. They're susceptible Flattery. to corn dogs. Pinchy holds up a corn dog. You should eat those things, mate. It's bad for you. We're all gonna die eventually. Eats the corn dog, stick and all. Wait, they're bad for you? Yeah, of course. No, honey, they're not they're bad not for you. They're not exactly healthy, but... Just don't eat a lot. Well, like what's wrong does. with them? What is happening right they're now? They're fried. It's, yeah, it's this whole but thing. It's, cor it's corn, right? Yeah, no, it's corn. corn it's corn it's meal. Not. Logan looks at you, Snake, just like... You can see in his eyes, he's, he doesn't know, dude. He doesn't... He's just trying to get through the day. Pinchy goes, Well, clearly, you have to try it. And then hands a corn dog over to Eli. This should answer everything. Eli will take the corn dog, look at it, look at Pinchy, look at it again, and sort of like lower it. He doesn't take a bite yet. <laughs> Pinchy looks like almost excited and then sees you put it down, and then the disappointment on Pinchy's face is just clear. And it's just like, do whatever you want. <laughs> and then look, looks forward at everybody else. I don't even care. I don't even, whatever. Your loss, honestly. So, I've heard bits and bobs about all of you. You don't know anything about me. I've got a ship. I hunt people. And you need someone hunted. That Where pretty much sums it up. Where do I go? Where, Where do I come in? Let, you go. Let's you go. backtrack a bit. Sure. You two know each other? No. So where'd you come from? I jumped in his window, mate. Yeah, he, I climbed he in there. came in to kill him, right? Isn't that? No, captured Excuse alive. Me? Alive. I was going to take him in alive. One or the other. It was a technicality, really. I probably wasn't going to shoot him unless he put out a gun on I didn't. Mate. I didn't show up until they were already, I don't know, fr friend. Are you guys My friends house is now? prone to murder. I mean, that's respectable. I would have killed him. Uh, then why are you tagging on, tagging on now? Because well, he told me all about the situation with these skin changes, this dangerous being. 
You told him what? Well, I, I looked straight to, at Logan. He asked me to tell me this, uh, tell him the story, and so I told him the story. I told him everything. It's true. He did. That doesn't seem careless to you, Logan. No, he was a little. Look at him. He's wonderful. He was sitting in my room. It didn't seem very threatening, although it was dark. And so I just told him everything. I mean, it's a good story. It's my a good story. Bones. That's Look at where that's... we've been. Look at where we've been, and you're telling information to this. This. <sighs> we friend don't know. Friend is the friend him. is the word you're looking for. Yeah. Oh, oh so name was Buddy. So he's a friend. Well, his name is Buddy, who was a friend. It's not that hard to understand. Oh. Okay, it's quite hard to understand, actually. Pinchy uh, has accepted this now and ne leans down and says, They call me Pinchy. By they, I mean. And it points to everyone in the room. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. It seems you're a friend. And yeah, not to you yet, mate. You have to earn it. He earned it. He broke his heart out to me. He pulled it down. I drank it back and I felt it deep within. Mm. I just did everything he said. He'll hand Dash you seems one. touched by that. <laughs> he'll hand you one and then stops <laughs> and then takes a second corn dog and hands them both to you. Ooh, that's no, a big I, deal for him, buddy. That's a big deal for him. I don't eat this shit. I'm, I'm on a strict diet. Uh. Right? You don't get a body like this unless you eat <laughs> the proper food. What, you mean pudgy? Did you say that? Did you say that out loud? Yes. Pinchy will wave uh, their finger at you before saying, uh, I'll get you. I'll figure it out. I'll get you. Mm -hmm. And then promptly eats the two corn dogs. Wipes his own hands on his fur. <laughs> so, here's the thing. I've always suspected my whole life that the government is up to no good. Right? This confirms it. I'm here to take them down. Bring down the entire establishment. Burn it to the ground. If it means that by the end of this, bad people are put behind bars. I'm glad the dog is on board, but I'm still at a loss. How exactly does this factory and the doctor's father? Oi, dick. I've got a ship. This dog ain't in no kennel. I've got a ship. You don't. I'm doing you a favor. Well, I can't Which... deny that's a bit... Convincing. You're also paying me back for the very expensive pot brownies you ate. Now fuck that, mate. You're rich. You can afford it. Besides, you should be paying me back. That's a horrible trip. <laughs> That's what you get for not having somebody experienced there with you. So. My ship. My rules on the ship, though. I'll take you to Europa. We find this changeling. We interrogate them. We find out what the hell's going on. I all just stood there silently. Some will say yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm in. Detective. Look, it's not up to me. It's it's up to the group. I'm. I choose to go. Isla um, clearly is having a hard time trusting this. She just stares down at Buddy with her eyebrows furrowed. <laughs> oh yeah, who are you again? Looks over at Isla. I uh. uh that's right. <laughs> Oh, you're new too. N n not exactly. N not really. Pinchy, Karis. She points at her at herself. You missed a little bit. <laughs> Pinchy, I'm blinks. sorry. Oh, you also missed it. Yeah, it's just. Mm. She rubs her eyebrows. Hello. Yes, I look a little different, but. I'm Karis. Now that everyone's here, I guess I can get that out in the open. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did you say your name was? Karis. She stares down at you. Now why is that familiar? 
You got a bounty in your head? Not that I'm aware of. But it's not my name anymore. Huh. You can call me Isla. Isla Fern. She puts her hand out to, like, shake your little guinea pig paw. <laughs> he puts it off it. You can just feel like right in the center of your head. <laughs> she, she, she shakes. A mm. very firm handshake. All right. Now, look, you don't have to trust me. The reality is I don't know any of you, either. But if what Logan's saying is true, then this world could come to an end. And I've always thought that. Some people call them conspiracy theories, I call them prophecies. Oh my fucking god. What? <laughs> Go on, nobody. Please continue. I knew it. There were skin changes among us all the whole time. I could tell. Listen, I, I haven't shed my skin in years. Shh, shh, pinchy? Pinchy? No, not that kind of one. This is not like the I shed my the skin this one. morning. Not like you, not like you, and not like the change the other type. The other one. The one people right. don't know about. The bad one. Logan is all smiles right now. Just eating it up. Go on. I mean, I don't know if any of you realize. But I'm pretty sure this city is run. What'd you call them again? What were they called? The, the skin thingies, the, the skin changes. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Pitchy goes, <sighs> bureaucrats. <laughs> no, buddy, the Ganymedians. Ganymedians, yeah. Gan right, yes. Ganymedians, and, and they're right in the center of the government. Ganymedian, where? Pitchy Everywhere. Goes, I know it. And you've known this for some time? I just didn't have a name for them, mate. I knew it. I could smell it. Something what else? Off. What else do you know? Well, I'm pretty sure. As someone who has got a spaceship, Io ain't round. It's mostly broken up into different pieces. <gasps> no. <laughs> That's right. Oh, buddy. What else do you know, buddy? <laughs> you know... Bits and bobs, uh, just just normal stuff, you know. Birds aren't real, that kind of thing. <laughs> Dash, I need, to, I need you to turn around a second. <laughs> Logan looks at the entire real. team, all smiles, just nodding, like, "What a wonderful addition!" Wait, birds aren't real. I need to, I need to scream. I, I need to scream. Player Massey oh. furls her eyebrows. <laughs> Clara Massey is not pleased right now. <laughs> well, he seems trustworthy. He knows the birds aren't real. <laughs> I didn't know that. The birds, the birds are real, Pinch. That's preposterous. But he just said the birds were not real. Do birds you think you can trust him? I wish Ross has been to Spice. I mean, look at him. Dash is pretty sure that birds are real. <laughs> anyway so now we've dealt with the facts we, we haven't it. though wait what would you <laughs> i'm i'm still at a loss as to what <laughs> the doctor's father has to do with any of this my dad's knows who a Likely the Ganymedians are disguised as in the Cathosian court. So we need to go find him to figure out who the Ganymedians are. It's it's its whole thing. It's the easiest way to figure out who the rest are. So your dad just has information and we're looking for information. In essence. Yes. Hmm. If Have you been able Logan to is if Logan's going, then I'm going. So. A side point. Do we know anything about where Karis and 
Victor might have gone. Anything at all. I, I, I don't think we do. In fact, the only leads we have at the moment are the father. Isla rubs her temples. Does anyone try to contact him? I'd rather not. I don't know we're coming. I don't normally I... talk to my dad unless I need to, so... Uh, does your mother often talk to your father? Uh, I remember her saying she hasn't been in contact with him probably since he left planet. Do they often talk? He gives like a yikes expression like e I I was under the impression that you were on speaking terms. We are. What do you usually do? Do you speak to your father usually? Or do you message him? I don't like to speak to him, then frankly. Don't. Then don't, because then he'll realize something's up. You'll keep what everything I was casual. Yeah. You keep it all casual, you let them let their guard down, think they're in control, and you kick him right between the fucking legs. That's what we do to your father. I don't. Well, Logan probably will. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> Eli is struggling to parse this information, it seems. So, ha hang on. When you say he has information... He's a part of Facade. Eli will look to Logan. Logan looks back at you and goes, Oh, and apparently killed my son, so... Wait, he wasn't what? actually he wasn't actually the one that killed your son, it was just his idea. Oh right, well huge difference. Well, I guess we could all pack it up and go home, and Logan like feigns to stand up. <laughs> Buddy doesn't get it and goes, Don't go. <laughs> Damn it. He's got a point, we still got work to do. So, now you know the whole story. I'll get my things. Eli stands up and heads straight to the workshop. Uh, I didn't sharpen my glaive. I was... He looks at his hands, now filled with empty popsicle sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Just eat the sticks, dude. Buddy, do you actually have food on your... Ship, or do you have the stupid nutritional paste? My belief is a good ship is 50% of its weight is made up of food. I got a lot of food. So it's not the shitty nutritional paste? No. Okay, thank no. God. Get oh, a body like mine? No way. <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm going to send you a message, Joe. Okay. <laughs> Here's what's actually on your ship. It just says, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Logan, uh, I'm... Sorry. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, Dash will say, Logan, I'm... I'm really sorry that we didn't notice. I, I mean, Piper and I went and talked to him... And, we could have gotten here a lot quicker if, if I had just noticed something. I didn't... Are you... Dash, are you... trying to put this on yourself? N no. <laughs> Dash will, like, remember <laughs> the conversation he just had with... No. This is hell of war. <laughs> you I... have a, just the <sighs> worst habit. Of just taking every little thing and just really hyper focusing on how you potentially could have done better. Cut that shit out. Uh, okay. You will never. So sorry, 
No, I'm not sorry. I am sorry. Don't be sorry. You You're doing good. You're doing good. Okay. You are not sorry. You have done nothing wrong. Look at you. You're a... And he like sort of like grabs your shoulders. You're a giant ox of a person. Why are you always apologizing? You're one of the best, uh, smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. And here you are, uh, saying that you are... Can I check that? <laughs> <laughs> you like definitely can. Believes you it. definitely can. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> now we wait to see if Jesse rolls deception. Oh, am I? You know what? Sure. Are you lying <laughs> for your teeth? <laughs> Emotionally smart. Oh my god! Oh, my god. oh I'm still yeah. saying it. It's still happening. He has, he has this to commit. like. You have to commit. He's got this like, this forced smile on his face while he's trying to say it. Oh my god. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, Hellboy, you can 100 pick up the fact that like, he's really trying to be nice about saying "shut up," "stop saying you're sorry" all the time, rather than just being like. You know, you're so annoying. It's just like, you know, you could. There's other ways to do this. You're so right. I'm just trying my hardest, oh, but it's very God. clear I'm just fed up. Just like, and I'm like holding your shoulders as hard as I can, and I don't, I don't know if it hurts you, but it's like I'm just like squeezing you. <laughs> just like you don't have to apologize. Yes, you're one of the best detectives I've ever helped train. Why are you always so sorry? I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'll I'll stop. I'll I'll stop. Will you? Will you stop? I don't know. I'll try. I'll try to stop. And how will you try to stop? Uh If I say sorry... Don't say it. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I say the S word... I don't know don't what to do anymore. Face palms. Are you trying to say shit? I don't think you could say that either. If no, you, you have to say sorry, instead you say... I'll... Uh, I'll do better next Pinch time. Pinchy leans in, also curious what to say. You know what? I'll do better next time is... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I've got one. Oh, I've got it. Yes. Yes. I'll say thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> Does that work? Is that good? Honey, honey you don't know anyone, thanks. Logan looks, like, shocked. And he's like, uh, Actually, I... I would appreciate that acknowledgement, yes! Okay. I'll try. I'll... Next time I'll do it. I'll say... I'll say thank you instead of sorry. Okay, instead of the S... Uh, instead of the S word. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dash, thank you for being patient with me. You're welcome. <laughs> he looks emotional. <laughs> and yeah, and I give you kind of like a slap on the shoulder and then just like turn around. And as I do, the smile on my face immediately disappears. And I go to sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> can we all go uh, back? Can we all can I we I like do that? Chuckles. Yeah, go for it. Is everyone uh, packing now? Is the, the conversation wrapping up? Do we have things to pack? Yeah, pack I got line. shit to pack. As, uh, <laughs> as everyone talks about packing, Eli will come back with us things and the uh, the corn dog stick in his mouth. <laughs> yes. Ah, mm -hmm. Yes, Pinchy says, pointing forward. Yes. <laughs> That's the one, baby. Or I'm getting ready to pack. 
Whatever that means. Oh, Pinchy God. walks outside. Just go ask the, the chefs for more corn dogs, Pinchy. That's all you'll need, bud. <sighs> all right. Ash, so can you come with me upstairs to pack real quick? Uh, sure, Ooh. yeah. I'm not waiting another season. <laughs> you it. Mamma mia. So he'll like drag him upstairs. So it's actually helping him pack because he needs to bring all of his anxiety medication because he's going to Water Planet. And he's not happy about it. They are packing. They're packing. Uh, but Hellebore will pop out. And interrupt Piper because Piper looked like he was gonna say something, but interrupting, he's like, "Hey, so about that stuff, hammering this out before oh, space." Hi. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Hammering it um, out before space. <laughs> I like to think that Dash has his arms like full of stuff because they were actually mid packing. <laughs> so, right. Um. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Dash will set everything down. Uh, okay. I, and th maybe this is, maybe this is bat. Piper's gonna kill me. Um, okay. I still kind of, uh, think of you and Piper as the same person. And I know that's not, uh, the case. So, um, I guess. No, I'm on board with you. He's the crazy one. Okay, uh, <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure how to n navigate this in a way that, that where you're both going to be ha happy, um, so, yeah, I guess, um, uh, what, <laughs> he's, he's just kind of like, Arm, like, kind of. Honey, <laughs> we already had the, we we already talked it over in the brain. Remember, I'm the one that confessed technically, and I said we. Yeah, I know that. Because we kind of we I'm talked kidding. it over right. because it'd be really fucking awkward if I suddenly decided to say, date somebody else. You you know, see how that would be weird because it's shared body thing. Sure. Here's okay. Here's what I'm worried about: is that, uh. You and Piper really like to antagonize each other? Yes. Yeah. Thank you for agreeing with me on that. Um I don't want to I don't want to be a way that you guys antagonize each other. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> so we're good. I'm I mean I'm I'm good I think I might I might mess up sometimes or I guess we'll just have to feel it out but if I ever do anything that upsets you or or upsets Piper I I mean I know you guys pretty well you're probably going to tell me right away so Yeah That seems about right Okay, um, is that, did that help? Yeah, we're good. I just wanted to <laughs> make sure you were good. Yeah, I'm, uh, I think I'm good. Okay, I'm gonna finish grabbing the rest of stuff. You should get out of here before I have the urge to bite you. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird urge. Uh, can Why I not? ask a, wait, 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 can I ask a question before? What? Okay, um... What was the body for that was in here? Oh, did Piper not tell you? Are you trying to... Are you trying to make a body so you can both have bodies? Is that what's happening? Not my idea. That... So... You know how... I'm the, I'm the quote-unquote crazy one, right? Yeah. Not the case. He's the crazy one, by the way. Uh, that's backup plan. That, or was backup plan. He points at the bu bullet hole in, like, the chest. Yeah, we need a new part for that. Uh, backup plan in case we couldn't get along. It was still a work in progress. It could have been done a lot long ago, but 
Piper is freaked out that he wouldn't have magic if he got a new body or something like that. So that's why we were trying to steal the sorcerer's hand for this. Because, like, I don't know what the crazy logic was. Maybe his bones have magic or something. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. He's a psychopath. But yeah, that's, like, plan E. Okay. And plan A is just... Attempt get to get, get along. along. Okay, great. I'll be trying to help with plan A then. Should I bring the head? He holds up the head. Is, is, I'm kind of attached is there to it a reason, now. Is there a reason to bring the head? I mean, you could scare the shit out of my dad with it. I could, like, put some makeup on it to look like my current head. Scare the shit out of dad with it. Dash makes... <laughs> sort of an uncomfortable face, which to Hellebore might... I don't know, say that that's a really good idea. Also, nice aura. Aura? I don't know, it's, you feel nice to be around recently. Oh. Thanks. I think. Alright, so, got all this shit, let's go. I wanna get- I don't wanna go to- I- I was gonna say I'm excited for a vacation. I'm not excited for vacation. Let's go. Okay. Um, do we- wait, do you have a- is- is this it? Are we good? Uh, I'm still gonna have panic attacks. Let's go. It's fine. Okay. We pack he will, up. He will then stomp down the stairs and say, WHO'S READY FOR THE BEACH?! Wait, I don't think they have beaches. Oh my gosh, is our beach episode coming up, guys? <laughs> oh my god! Baby, baby! Hang ten, gang! <laughs> I'm ready to go! Alright. Uh, let's take a small bathroom break, and then we'll continue. Sound good? Yep. Time mm. to pee-poop, everybody. Yeah, pee-poop, mm. everyone. Just the pee, just the pee, everyone. Okay, hold on those poops across the Just the pee! Alright. <laughs> That's right. Not every pee-pee time is a poo-poo time, but every we'll poo-poo time is a pee-pee time. We'll be right back! Hello, Ionians. Our show is brought to you by our generous patrons through our IO Publishing Patreon. Get access to tons of homemade content from our talented team of writers, musicians, and artists, including magic items, custom encounters and mechanics, new subclasses, and more. Also, get access to MP3s of all of our D&D campaigns. While we cater to 5e systems, IO Publishing will be making compatibility for other popular TTRPG systems this year. Sign up today at patreon.com slash world of IO and join this fast growing Patreon. Support our shows and support our third party content, all for the love of TTRPGs everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be right back.
And we're back. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh. Fart. Fart, fart, fart. Pee yes. pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo. Okay. So, uh, now that you guys are departing, you've packed everything up. Uh, Lady Hellbor has said her final goodbyes to all of you before you take off. Uh, you'll head over to the. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Are you guys ready to, to move? I have a question. Yes. Does this general span of time count as a long rest? Is there anything you've done that would spend your long rest stuff? I, uh, what? No, oh, I'm yeah. just. Yes, you, you've taken a long, you took a long rest here at the, the manor. Okay, because, um, I've, I, as I'll, uh, I'd like to, like, go around and just check on everyone, and can that count as my, um, as my, what is it called? Uh, Age of Leaders? Uh, yeah, I mean, so you would, you would have completed the long, you, before this conversation took place, you already completed the long rest, so yes, if that's something that you'd like to do prior, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, Isla would have gone around and just, like, checked on everyone and just, like, you know, gave, gave them a pat on the back or whatever, var various, uh, pleasantries, just to see where everyone's at. Uh, and that would be Age of Leaders, which is a part of her Kathosian background, which gives everyone 12 temp HP. Oh, hell oh, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, everyone, asterisk, I think it's six people? Yes. Okay. So that would just be core party. Yeah, PCs, player what, PC, players. PC. And buddy, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> you mean pitch your buddy? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if I trust Buddy yet. Would I have gone over to Buddy for a pep to no? Probably know. not. Yeah. You went to Pinchy. I I think you gotta earn your your. I think you your gotta pep earn talk? You your gotta pep earn, talk. You gotta earn this tank. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're earning in both ways. I'm giving it to Pinchy for now. All right. Ah. Hellebore comes downstairs with his big ass scythe. Well, I like it. It's sharp. So yeah, you guys will be assembling uh, the parts that you've gain gained on the ship itself as as part of your downtime. You guys have collected a bunch of uh, assorted materials and things like that uh, from Hecaton. And now it's time to divvy and 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 get it all squared away. But you guys will be doing that on the ship. So. Ooh. Uh, you, you all will, uh, burr, 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 burr. give me one second. There we go. I have to, I was on the wrong page. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of our minions in hiding right now, just so we're dealing with the core characters. They're in the bag. <laughs> They're in the bag, baby. And you all will travel over to the starport. Okay. So as you guys travel on to the starport, uh, Buddy, you would have had your ship checked in, uh, mm -hmm. gotten everything refueled with it there. Uh, the technician would uh, go over to you. Give me one second. Sorry. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, the way that your shard ships, uh, work, you know, uh, typically you need to go over to a port where you're able to land the ship. This allows you to pay for any repairs, uh, refueling with, uh, EF or energy fuel. Um, refueling is vital whenever you enter the port. Mm -hmm. Uh, the technicians will normally let you know what's going on. Uh, so. Does it cost as well? Oh yeah, it always costs. Yeah, it always costs. So, but you, for this one, you've already taken care of it, and you've already refueled. Uh, okay. As the technician will come over to you, buddy, and says, and we'll just be like, "Well, it uh, it still flies." And kind of like shrugs a little bit and says, uh, "You're definitely due for maintenance for several things." Yeah, start... yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. I'm a little bit <laughs> backlogged, right? 
I like to imagine that the, the, the they're about to give you a list, and you're like, yeah, 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 and you like blow through. It and it's like, and yeah, yeah, it pops into his pocket. Yeah, and mm. just uh, all right, huh? sign right there, just so to let you know that we did try to tell you, or we did tell you, okay, but just sure. yeah. Sure, and just start signing it. Wait, yeah. is there so much problem? Fuel here? No, it's not a problem, miss. The best ship in this entire space, but I'm telling you that now, it's the most experienced. Did you get the grime off the bottom side? I think I hear something. Uh, yes, we, we took oh, care good. of the cleaning costs. Yeah, yeah, everything's been fine. Everything's yeah, nice. good to Convincing. go. Everything Everything is within the working order. The, you're just overdue for maintenance for a couple of things. Make sure you take care of that, as I already told you. Whoa, 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 oh. whoa hold on a second. This is the, the price of energy in this side of the fucking hell, mate. Uh, you're charging you know, out your ass. Uh, but, but, <laughs> this, uh, that's the standard yeah, price. Yeah, standard price, yeah, yeah. Well, well, that's the other thing that I wanted to bring up with you. Uh, oh, we're going to be go. purchasing a, a fuel credit today. Where, where are you departing to, off to? So... Uh, part of ship travel, um, you could always take your chances and pay whatever the port prices are for fuel. Or if you go to an authorized Ionian um, port, you can purchase a uh, fuel credit, which allows you to essentially buy the fuel now um, at the flat standard rate plus an additional 10%. Uh, otherwise, because space is so volatile and so random uh fuel prices can fluctuate very wildly from port to port uh especially if a port is low on energy fuel or or recharging you may end up paying more if you try to like roll the dice and gamble for a, a cheaper fuel price uh the way that the ionian senate has tried to balance this is with the ionian fuel credit uh by going from port to port that is authorized by io uh you can actually spend the credit there to do that uh but you would have to dictate uh where exactly your destination is they'd calculate the fuel you'd pay for it there and then you would refuel back uh once you get to your destination it's also a way that you know that io can kind of like keep track of the ships of like where they're going uh coming and going um but it is a guaranteed way to like plan for fuel costs ahead of time so the technician will return back to you and state and will will state uh, will you be purchasing a fuel credit today? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, your destination? Europa. Europa, all right. Yeah, nice. go family. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> will you be getting a round trip, or just uh, is this one way? Send it to the group. Let's just say one way for now. Understood. All right, Europa is two galactic ticks away. Uh, we're, you're going to have to pay 550 credits up front right now. <sighs> you currently have 1,500 credits on you. I don't get no, some sort of discount, anything, no. Have you <sighs> get the, the security to know that you're going to get fuel once you get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for the it's, group. <laughs> it's a good program. I don't know what to say. You're paying your share. I have no money. <laughs> Let's check out that wealth. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, he hands over the credits. All right. But he had 1,500 credits. Now you're down to 950 credits. <laughs> uh, yeah, Karis is gone. <laughs> Lamau. Isla has no money. <laughs> I'm dirt poor. Creditless. Uh, uh -huh. Hella, Hella I was Bo born yesterday. <laughs> Hellebore has, I think, 1,116 credits in a medical bag. Dash has 214 credits. Logan is also creditless. Okay. Hey, high five. Don't hear me complaining about it. Uh, you'll, <laughs> so you actually see this ticket print out that has the, the, the fuel credits on it with this, uh, a long string of, like, coded, like, letters and numbers. Uh, before it's handed off to you. He runs make his sure. tongue against it and then puts it on the inside of his armor. <laughs> now make sure you That's do... Fine. Oh, okay. All right, other I'm than that, other than that, you're good to go. Uh, your your ports are, you know, your energy reserves are full. Everything is ready for your departure. Uh, you're over at port six. Uh, safe travels. Appreciate you, mate. And he begins walking towards port six. 
All right. And that is where you will enter the ship. This bitch better got a toilet. Hi, everyone. Welcome aboard the Moon Blaster. One of the finest ships you ever you see. Got, you guys are free to explore the ship. Huh. This is, okay, this, well, that's the outside. That's the port. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. you're, free to you're literally walking into darkness and you're just like, yeah, that's where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> uh, if you're looking to take off, you would go through here, but otherwise, you'll uh, through that door. Uh, but otherwise, you're free to navigate through. Door. Uh, I see uh, door. Once again, buddy, thank you for helping us. No. You don't have to thank me, mate. We're doing the right thing. Besides, I'm interested to see what you do in the face of engines. Anyway, some rules whilst you're on my ship. No touching any panels you don't understand. No messing with anything. Don't bring unnecessary things on the ship. When you come on the ship for the first time after getting off, wash, clean yourself. You don't know what bacteria you're bringing on, right? Also, I don't want you bringing on people onto the ship that we don't know. They'll be scanned through me. I will interrogate them. And once I decide that they're fit to come aboard the Moon Blaster, they can come aboard. Other Caught than that, what wait, I'm not done is... Called the Moon Blaster? you got a problem with the name. <laughs> right. There are bedrooms for you, but unfortunately these are Brig bedrooms. See, I don't usually have guests, but they are nice. I don't like my bounties having discomfort. They don't come with windows, but you'll get used to it. We've got some viewing rooms. We've got a gym. We've got a kitchen. Clean up after yourselves. If I find one slob on this ship, you'll be sleeping in the quiet brig. Other than that, no one sits in my captain's chair. That's about it. Simple enough. All right. Feel free to explore. Really, don't touch anything. Mr. DM, can I have my token down so I can explore? <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, I didn't have your uh, token. Da so thought. what is this room? Oh, this one. Storage, mostly. Hmm. You'll find that the entire area is extremely like tight and narrow as you're squeezing through. You can still get through all right, um, but it is a tight, a uh, bit of a tight squeeze. Uh, You'll good. walk, yeah, and there looks to be a, a small office as you're looking through the windows to the port over here. And in this room, oh, this one, kind of just uh, pretty seen inside. Which room is that one? Yeah, it's it's a it's a small alchemical lab. Yeah, that's why I do a little bit more augmenting. Lovely. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? Uh, this seems to be a, a, a small kitchen, Isla. Hmm. And, and this room? Uh, as you go in, you enter into some makeshift gym. Uh, you see that this is a giant <laughs> gerbil wheel. You see it's kind of electrically powered and just goes around and goes, Yeah, yeah, this is where I work out. Oh, I can tell. Appreciate it, mate. I've been <clears throat> lifting up the gains recently, maxing out the weights. The gains? You don't know about the gains? I uh, know. Ah, yes, gains. I live my life with the gains. What is a what is the gains? The gains is a way of life. It's a, it's a path to tread. It's the belief that your body can become so much more when you work on it. Isla just thing. looks sad. <laughs> Bodies on a temple. I had gains once. They're a tank. And that tank. Oh my god. Can get armor plating after armor plating. Those muscles can get muscles, and the gains kick in, mate. So the gains aren't the muscles. No, the gains are the way of life. You understand? And how would I know if I had the gains? <laughs> it's not really a. Something you know, something you feel. You know, when you lie on your side and you realize that you're being lifted an extra three inches off the ground because your bicep is so goddamn thick, you can't even stop flexing it. That's when you know you got the gains. 
Isla's sad and Isla's sad and deepens. <sighs> Logan is just like feeling his bicep, trying to figure out what the hell you're talking about. Mate, feel free to use the gym. And welcome yeah. to the path. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I see big things in your future. Oh my god. It certainly well. I guess I'll continue exploring then. Uh, you'll continue to go up the tight area. You'll walk into what appears to be a uh, buddy's bedroom. That's my bedroom, mate. Oh, sorry, two, sorry. You'll notice that there are two beds there. One that seems pretty clean made, another one stacked with papers. Yep. All right, my bad. Sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, all good, yeah. all good. Looks like the facilities. Yep. Yep, that's, uh, that's where I shit. <laughs> and this is the, uh, the takeoff area. Oh, look at that. Well, I certainly won't sit in your seat as, as you warned me. No, it's mostly the other seat. I keep one of them. You kind of, um, you see them on, on the, on the back of one of the seats. Um, it has Buddy Cool on the seat that looks like to be the most used and the one that's actually like lit up. Um, and on the, the back of the other one, it has uh, uh, Captain Sungazer. Uh, yeah, Logan makes a mental note, but doesn't say anything. Well, that's pretty much this side of the ship. I hope the other's not breaking things. <laughs> and where would uh, uh, our facilities be? Oh, the other side of the ship. They love her. Uh, well, okay then. Lead the way. Ah, uh, if you'd like to follow me, gang, I believe we're going to find our accommodations. Right this way. Oh, that's uh, that's all part of the uh, cargo. You can right. you can sleep in cargo if you like. Is that okay? I guess we'll leave Toy Maker down there if you. Let him make his toys. What's this yeah, way? Workbench. What's that? A workbench. Do I have a hey, workbench? You, you yeah, you'll go in there and you'll see that there's a small little uh, workspace for. Uh, he does, Eli. It's in here. Excuse me. Art. Hmm. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, workbench is in there. It is. It's not really anything special, but he kind of squeezes up against the pipe, and the pipe gets a little warm. Okay. <laughs> Logan lets out like a comical laugh when he sees the prison cell beds. And he's like, oh, we're going to love it here. Also, uh, <laughs> be careful about this pipe here. I put, some, I put some duct tape on it, but it keeps shooting out steam. Boiling hot, it will boil your skin, but I think it's all right. I'm be meaning to get a technician to see to it. It's not, it's not a big deal. I had a workshop that was bigger than my entire house, and now I'm here. Well, <laughs> trust me, mate, you'll learn with me the size does not matter. Yes, we should probably go find our rooms. You gonna be okay? P Pipes, he said there's no windows. There aren't, there aren't even windows in there. You're fine. Come on, let's go find a room. He'll, he'll like, <laughs> That's grab his hand. Convinced. You're f Do you want me to make you some tea now? I have anxiety no, meds. Um, no, it's fine. It's yeah, okay. You're gonna be okay. So as you're walking through, you'll notice that Buddy is technically correct. Uh, these doors, if left open, these are gated like gated cages, and there are <laughs> windows over yeah. here oh, God. that allow you to take out, but you'd have to peer past the uh, the, the the gated doors. So I do have these little. Uh, colorful walls that can change to uh, to look like you know different motifs. They're not. I didn't get the, the expensive ones right. They make you feel more immersive. So it, it's not super immersive. But if you press this little button, you just taps the little button, you can see one of the walls just changes to look like a really pixelated like sunny beach. It's all right. It, it, it works. You know, it makes people feel better. <laughs> That's interesting. Huh. Uh, Logan, you seem to have entered some sort of observation deck. And then you'll notice there's are there a windows in here? here. Yes, you are actually looking out of the windows right now. Yeah, Logan shouts out uh, before closing the door. Found my room! <laughs> uh, buddy, you'll see that he has entered into the uh, the, the cannon entry area and observation <laughs> deck. 
Uh, uh, Mike, uh, you can't push through the door. No, no. Yes. That's where the guns are. Oh. Buddy, buddy will point over here to the slatch. Well, then it's yeah, a good thing. It. He points to it. Yes. New rule. It's a good thing this is my room, then. No going down there. New rule. All right. Okay, I don't intend to. These cannons can blast. A large freighter out of the sky. Wonderful. I assume but... it's controlled via the cockpit, yes? So, uh, we haven't gotten to that part yet, but I will tell you. Uh, yes, it can be controlled by the cockpit. However, uh, if... But, uh, so when you're flying uh, a ship, uh, the cockpit can control everything. But you can only do so much as one individual. Uh, so typically what some squads will do, uh, we'll have a pilot over on the cockpit and you'll have a gunner over here. So one person will operate the guns while the other one is like flying, activating shields, defensive maneuver, et cetera, et cetera. Again, so but... yes to both account. But, I mean, maybe I'll give you a training course and... Uh... Maybe you might be better in, uh, you know, in the gunner ship. I mean, <clears throat> I could always use a hand. <laughs> Maybe we do a job on the way. <laughs> if that's what it takes to get us there, that's fine. In the meantime, this room looks lovely. And he sort of, like, pats his foot on the random green cloth on the ground, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's and my expensive like... rug. I love <laughs> it. Thanks. Yeah, he, like, kind of lays down on it. He's like, oh, it's honestly the most comfortable I've been in quite some time. <laughs> Good. Buddy, where's your biggest room? Biggest spare room? I mean, room with the biggest, <laughs> and not close to walls, space-wise. Dash, Dash looks into one of these rooms, just like... <laughs> Like, he's trying to work himself up to even trying to go in there. Yeah, Dash, it's gonna make you more anxious looking at it. I take it you two want neighboring cells? I'm just trying to get him a big room. He's claustrophobic. I mean... You can stay it's in fine. the cargo. No, it's, yeah, it's... Wait, could I? Yeah, but it does just throw around in there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that would be great. Thank you so much. <laughs> like, get out of this hallway as oh, fast as possible. Oh, be careful, though. Do, do find a way to lock yourself down. One That's time. great. It's fine. I, thank uh, you so much. <laughs> he looks up to and he's like, there's no idea what he's doing. One time. Is that, is that down a here? A rodent stuck onto way? the ship. Flew all about that place. What? what? What's the danger of him staying in cargo? <laughs> rodent once snuck on here. Thing was about the size of me. I come back in. It been bouncing around like a pinball across the entire place. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay with him in the back then. You, uh, you want me to take a look at it? Take a look at what? Cargo, see if I can find a way to keep things stationary in there. Well, what do you do? I, I thought you made toys. I do. I did. Eli's good at a lot of things. It's very handy. She squeezes past Eli. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just don't, don't break anything. But sure, yeah, if you want to make it a bit more comfortable, I don't mind. It's not like I have any has... cargo anyway. As Isla says that and passes, Eli looks like he wants to thank her, but he also seems very awkward about interacting. Like he doesn't <laughs> really know how to, how to yet. Hey, uh, where's the big fellow as well? This will work, Oi. right? This, this is, yeah, this is good. Are, are these yeah, windows can... back here? Yes, they are. <gasps> See, they got windows back here for you, yeah. This is a luxurious, luxurious ship. I'm very impressed by this. Vietnam. Appreciate it, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It costs a pretty penny. And then he, like, yeah. you see a little bit of steam come out of the bottom. He puts his foot over it. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, it's a bit more impressive than I was expecting. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's my life's work, really. Um, hey, you're a big guy. Could you do me a favor? He kind of points to, like, this corner little box that looks a little bit tatty. goes, just, uh, without being seen, could you just pop that outside on the, on the cargo area? Wait, you uh, want me to do what now? 
just, 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 just pop the little, there's a little box in the corner. Just pop that down into the, into their cargo. Uh, what box is that? He kind of points just like a, I won't use one of your ones, you don't have to move it. But like, yeah. he just points like down to the corner, like there's this kind of junk pile box. He just, just moves by. Down. You were like, be quiet. And it was like, Ugh. and then he just picks it up and just like moves it. Pop it out, pop it out outside into the, uh. Into the hangar. Try not to be seen, all right? All right. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's uh, let's keep things moving. They shall. Should get lifted off. Like right here. <laughs> I'm gonna put it here. That's a that's a two hundred gold. That's a two hundred credit fine. Don't Wait. Get seen. Hmm. Fines are bad. I do remember this. Look, I ain't paying anyone. To, to, Throw away my own waste, all right? It's fine. It's, they'll find it. They'll think it's Oh, that shit. was literally your shit. No, uh, no, 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 no. I no. see. Partially I my shit. I wouldn't okay. pay to dump my ex excrement either. Yeah, right? I wondered what the smell was in here. No, it's more than that. It was all old fuel, you know, grime. <laughs> Piper starts spamming press agitation to make the room smell better. <laughs> oh, you do it. You can't oh. just eject cleaning up your that? stink. Uh, there's regulations in space, right? You don't want to get caught. Also, you reject that thing, it builds up momentum. It goes at that, hits someone else's ship, they find out. It's an old ordeal. Right. <laughs> I see. Pinchy imagines the scenario. It is very amusing. I d I'm not a space dumper, personally. You know, I think that's immoral. Morals, right. Right, well, get to your rooms and whatnot, we'll take off. All right, when you're ready to take off, head over to your cockpit. As oh, Buddy walks broken, down, no. yeah, as Buddy walks down the tightened area, uh, you'll have, you'll watch as, uh, yeah, these two windows will tss, tss, lower down uh, as you begin ready oh. for takeoff. Because uh, your ship is equipped with a navigation system, you have access to the star map. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. So, buddy so. coming in clutch. My buddy. buddy. So let's take a look, shall we? My buddy. My, My buddy. buddy. Oh. Wherever he goes, <gasps> I'm going to Damn. Go. So this is the star map. This is the entire galaxy of the Ioverse. You guys have been for the past year uh, right over here. Uh, but now it is time to take off. Your destination is Europa, correct? It is Europa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. certainly not going to go snoop on this entire map here while you talk. Oh, no. I mean, it's you have free access to I it. I mean, gotta, guys, we do got to bring, we gotta, do got to do stuff with Pinchy eventually, you know? Like, oh, that's uh, on the other side. There's interesting oh my God. stuff over here, though. Like, I like looking at it. <laughs> so, um, because you have access, the ship has navigation, you all have access to the star map, which means you're free to look at this any way you see fit. Um, in fact, uh, at the end of today's session, I will drop the star map over into your shared chat, so you're free to look at it and do and plan and do whatever the heck you'd want to do. Um, each uh, travel is done through galactic ticks. Uh, these giant squares that you'll see over here, um, kind of ignore the grid for now, but the giant squares is considered a galactic tick, um, and that is the way that fuel is traveled. Uh, currently on this ship, uh, which, Joe, I've given you access to the vehicle character sheet, and we'll kind of like go over how all of that works because there's a there's a lot uh, to ship to, to to flying ships. Um, your ship is equipped with two FTL drives, which means if you'd like to burn double the fuel, uh, you could arrive at uh, you could arrive at half the time if you'd like. It just takes a lot more fuel to do it. So typically, if you're not in any rush, we're in a rush, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're not in any rush, one FTL drive will do. Uh, each With your ship, each galactic tick takes 24 hours to travel. So to arrive in Europa is going to take about 48 hours. Uh, each, gal uh, each galactic tick uses 250 units of energy fuel. Currently, your storage, uh, you've got a nice size storage of 500 energy fuel, which means you don't have to stop at any of these stations to refuel. Smaller ships... Uh, cough, cough, pipe dreamers um, have only <laughs> 250 in their reserves, which means mm. they have they have to stop at but trade stations tick. to refuel. That is correct. Yeah. 
Um, but because you you your ship is a fighter class ship, um, it has the ability to equip extra weapons without taking up uh, any more of your expansion slots. Ships have expansion slots, by the way, where you actually equip all the things that makes the ship work, whether it be shields, weapons, FTL drives, uh, food processors, all the that stuff. Um, you have to have the slots. Uh, the expansion slots to be able to equip it. And then once you, um, in fact, I will do a real quick open of your sheet. Give me one second, please. Um, I'm, act I'm, I'm actually going to show chat as well so they know what's going on. Uh, Brett to player is going to be an observer. I think I can see with that one second. Nope, I have to be an owner, so I will make myself an owner. One moment. Oh, I didn't save. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so I saved that. So, what the, f what the frick, dude? Absolutely. Oh, that's what I did wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't. I actually didn't save it at all. All frick. Totes. All frick. Okay. Yeah. I'll also share with you guys uh, for those that want to look at the character sheet. You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, but, uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay, here we are. Okay. And so ignoring the actual sheet itself, uh, we're going to go into our feature section. And this is where you're going to... This is... You're the only one that has control of this currently, Joe. Um, everything that you can do. There's a lot nope. of rule. There's there's a lot of rules that are attached uh, to flying a ship, and once we get into certain things that may require you to operate the ship in a certain way, that's when we'll go. But like for example, if you get to ship to ship combat, there's a lot of rules for that. We're not going to go into that currently. Uh, the moon blaster is equipped with extra plating, uh, meaning that it provides ten additional hit points uh, to your ship. Now you'll see your ship has hundred and ten hit points. Um, even though your ship has 110 hit points, and some of you have more hit points than that, it's the resistances of a ship that makes it sturdy. So um, the ship essentially against regular and magical weapons that aren't with the uh, Siege Descriptor, a.k.a. if you're not doing a, uh, a, a ship blaster versus this thing that's meant to break through ships, um, it has double resistance, which means if you are dealing 12, if you deal 12 points of damage to the ship with your sword, uh, it'll be reduced down to three hit points because it's a fucking ship. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's got uh, a bunch of heavy resistances and so did that. Uh, extra plating grants this ship more hit points. Uh, you have one propulsion shard equipped, which increases the AC and uh, allowing you to do a little bit more maneuvers, specifically in combat. Um, you actually have a couple of aiming systems equipped, uh, providing bonuses to your uh, to your ship turrets, to your pistols. Uh, you have a, a couple of ship blasters uh, attached to that, and like I said, we'll go over that at a later time. You do have a set of shield systems. Shield systems follow their own rules. Um, kind of think Star Trek, where you have like the hull of the ship, and then you've got the shields. Um, you never have your shields always on because they are they will drain away at the shield battery. Uh, so typically your shield systems has uh, 20 charges. Activating it costs three charges. And every round you leave your shields on costs an additional charge. And you can only recharge that up either, either with, um, with uh, engine parts that allow you to convert energy fuel into shields. Um, or by going to a port to recharge those shield batteries. But anyways, the shield system gives you five additional AC, and then there's a bunch of rules associated cool. with that, which we're not going to go into. Brett, uh, like, uh, uh, real quick, this is a very specific question for, like, yes. anyone who's ever played it, but is this similar to the way that you would do uh, the Star Wars RPG system where, like... I've if... never played, so I don't know. So it would be like if I'm a dude... And I shoot my pistol at a ship; it does reduce damage. But if yes. the pistol, sh or if the ship shoots me, I am suffering a ton of ton of oh, damage. Oh yes, absolutely. You okay. you you take bonus damage from a ship <laughs> from a ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you you would have double vulnerability, which means if the ship blasts you for ten points of damage, it deals forty points of damage to you. Gotcha. Understood. Yeah, yeah. That's a great question, though. That's I'm glad you asked that. Um, you have yes. 
in theory, it would be harder to hit a smaller target like a person with a ship, though, right? Yeah, you would still have to break the AC. Yeah, but if you get hit, it does, like, it's bad ludicrous news. amounts of damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. A ship's default AC is 10. Um, and typically, the only modifier that applies is if someone actually knows how to operate the turret. Dexterity is very important when you're actually pointing the turret at individuals, so you will add your, your dex modifier. Um, but you wouldn't add your proficiency bonus unless you are proficient in ship turrets. Uh, which currently, the only one proficient would be Buddy, because it's Buddy ship. And since this is everyone's first time in the ship, no one is proficient with blasters yet. Um, you have two energy fuel storages. Each energy fuel storage gives you 250 EF, uh, which means you have a reserve of 500 EF. Each tick, each galactic tick, takes 250 EF to travel through, which means you have you have just enough to get over to Europa, and then you'll have to refuel. Um, you have oxygen supply. You have one oxygen supply. It'll last you one week. If you want to do longer travels, like way deeper out in space, you're going to need more energy. Uh, you're going to need more energy storage, uh, and you're going to need more oxygen supplies. But remember. There are expansion bays, which currently 12 out of 15 are, are currently used. And then finally, navigation, which gives you access to the galactic star map and allows you to chart courses, which every ship that is in space need, like needs that. And you're a fighter class ship, which means you can equip an additional weapon, which you do have. You have two ship blasters, um, and it does not take up an expansion slot. So hopefully that made sense, but that Three. is the general, general rundown of your ship. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> so, you are going to Europa, correct? Correct. All right. Well, now that we are aware of that, uh, it's time to blast off. You Do you have um, speakers? So you can actually talk. While you're in the cockpit, you can talk to anyone on the ship. Uh, okay. Okay. They <laughs> depend. You also have the option to turn off the microphones on the other parts of the ship uh, when <laughs> you're activating that. So you can talk to them and not hear what they're saying. And that's totally within your option if that's what you'd like. Uh, but otherwise, that's usually how you'll notify like you're taking off and all of that. Okay. And it, and it, it literally it, it literally looks like those little those little uh, walkie talkies that you would see on like a bus. That is what that looks like. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he presses it and goes, uh... Welcome aboard the Moon Blaster, everyone. Now, if this is your first time in space, I'm going to need you all to hold on to something. Please find the closest bag you've got and hold it to your mouth. I do not want to clear up bath in the back of my ship. <laughs> Europa is a two-day travel. If we don't have any unexpected detours... It'll go clean, it'll go fast, and I'll get us there in one trip. If you do have any questions about space, now is your time to ask. Do you have the microphone on so they yeah. can respond? Okay. Mm -hmm. Press the little button, you can talk back to me. Each room has a little button with a speaker box so everyone on the ship can hear you. Isla presses it. Hello? Beep. Yep, I, yes, that came through. So this is the, this is how we respond to you. Where's the button in here? Yes, that is how you respond. You can you can talk into the little boxes there, yeah. Piper will press the button. Interesting. Testing. Beep. Beep. Okay, yeah, I'm getting you through as well. Yeah, yes. Piper yes, will just working. start pressing it over and over and over Beep. again, not Beep. say anything. All right, no questions then. He turns up all the microphones. <laughs> <laughs> back and enjoy your trip to Europa. You'll see a giant red light go off, and uh, and yeah, all right. So you are. That was fun. <laughs> okay, so you will get ready to take off. Uh, you do everything. All you flip all the switches that you need. You go through the launch protocol. You let the port know that you are departing. Um, you because you're on an Ionian starport, you do have to let them know what your destination is. Mm -hmm. There are unofficial ports uh, that will typically waive that process so that you don't have to, you know, if they want to be off the radar. Uh, pretty much everything is legally um, 
Every, everything is uh, uh, legally regulated, which means there is an illegal, unregulated version of it as well, if you ever wish to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but but typically with flights like this, you got to let them know where you're going. So you would inform them you're going to Europa. They will give you the exact uh, measurements. They will let you know how much fuel is required to get to Europa. So that way everything's good to go. In the end, it's ultimately to you. No one wants to get sued, I think, is the bottom line. Yeah. So mm-hmm. oh, with that... You all get ready to take off as everyone begins to feel uh, as the ship is just is starting to lift up. You actually feel it shake a little bit before the ship takes off. I changed my mind. I want to get off. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. All right. We've been on ships before. We were on a ship before. We'll be fine. All right, and with that, you will all begin your travel. Of course, then we were flying coach and not, you know. Cool. Oh, Oh, that's fast. And you just immediately, you immediately take off as you begin your first space travel. By the way, this song is going to be the theme of the Moon Blaster. Every ship, ha- every ship has their own unique oh, theme cool. that will be played, and this will be what plays whenever you're flying on the Moon Blaster. But yeah, you guys can see everything. Uh, while you are aboard the ship or doing stuff, you are free to uh, essentially roam about the cabin. Um, but this is your ship. This is your ability to, to move around, do as you please. As you guys have looked around, there's an area that you can cook, an area you can do alchemy, and a small little engineer's bay. Uh, there are many jail cells that you can use with working toilets and ability to sleep. But of course, as always, you are able to um, sleep wherever you want. Do what, however you wish. The two key doors you're going to want to be aware of that are super important, some of you may or may not see this, is the door that you entered. Uh, that remain that door remains locked uh, through travel, or otherwise you cast up into space. <laughs> and then also this side door as well, which will take you over to like a, a an easier way to get like move stuff through cargo, things of that nature. Uh, both those doors remain sealed and locked while you all are traveling uh, through space. But your journey begins. You take off from Io's orbit and you begin to travel your first galactic tick in the general direction of Europa. And that's where we will wrap up today's session of Deadbeats. Welcome oh. to space. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Baby. Ah. It's the final frontier, everybody. Thanks, buddy. All right. You got it. Thanks for the ship. <laughs> you got Thanks it. for the free ride, loser. And then I open up the airlock. <laughs> No! 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 <laughs> Joe's like, I'm done. I don't have time to play D&D anymore. Uh, oh, so the and then I break I my disguise self and Victor sits in the it's front. Man. He's in, he's in oh, his villain arc. Oh my god. god. It crashes he's because he doesn't have to play. In his villain arc. Betrayal. So if there is any direction, or not a direction, but uh, anything you guys would like to do to decorate the ship, uh, whether convert areas into sleeping quarters, etc., etc., let us know. Uh, uh, this map was created, let me get their name, uh, by our lovely team at IO Publishing, uh, by, uh, Shailavar. Shailavar made this map, did a wonderful nice. job. Yeah, they did great. Oh, yeah. yeah, it looks so, really good. So if you all, uh, need to, if you guys want to make some changes, let me know, and we will get that, uh, we'll get all that stuff updated for you. Great. Oh, yeah. But that is our, uh, yep, that is the beginning. We, we are now proper, uh, we are now in proper season three. So enjoy your, your space travels. Okay. Space. So, space. 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 All right. Uh, we got we got some stuff to do, don't we? I'm going to let the music play in the background. Um, it's a bop. So, that's good. Yeah, I really like it. It's a good it. song. Well, yeah, when, when when I found this song, I was like, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's buddy ship. That is some yeah. some some StarCraft vibe kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so 
A little, uh, a little duck told me that Bingo's back on the menu. Let's go! <gasps> bingo, bingo, bingo! Looks like Bingo's back on the menu, boys. Looks like Bingo's back on the menu. So let me go ahead and get that loaded up. Because it is indeed mm -hmm. time. Reminds me of RimWorld. Oh, yeah, like RimWorld. Yeah. Big uh, that, RimWorld vibes. Yeah, RimWorld. I that, immediately uh, thought that. Big, big fan of the the RimWorld vibes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm already sharing the uh, page with you guys. <laughs> Lol. What? Right. Uh, give me a second, dude. I'm in. I'm in. All what? right. Let, I just got to switch some things around. All right. This is your own unique bingo card. Yeah. There are no other like it. Yeah. You you can play along if you'd like. All yes, right. Yes, sir. So, yeah. someone makes a pun about Buddy's name. Did we get Hell any yes. Buddy puns today? Yeah, that yes. was yeah, friend yeah, and Buddy. Buddy, <laughs> friend, pal. You all yep. you all sound very disappointed in that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know what we're we just, did. Yeah, we're just sad. Yeah. The party runs another Bounty Hunters. Nope. Last minute shopping RP. No. Nat 20, nope. The party gets sidetracked from reaching Europa during space travel, nope. Piper complains about going to the water planet, yep. Yeah. A message from Victor, nope. Not Buddy yet. ship is a tight fit for the whole party. I mean, it's it's a good size, but yes, it is a bit of a, mm -hmm. a tighter uh, fit for individuals. Small. Dash's magic lore, uh, we didn't nope. get too much. It, well, we didn't get into it, but we did talk about it. Yeah, we, we talked about it. So yeah. uh, Hot I'll check yeah. it. That's fair. Of the magic. I'll check that off. Logan and Buddy bromance moment. Yeah, yeah. Let him vent. Give it so to him. Far. <laughs> no Nat one. one nodders. Drug RP nopers. Uh, Joe, I'm not sure what your idea ah, process. Time out. Time out. Oh, okay. Okay. Any type of of tea that you can drink that makes you feel all better. Right, that's drugs. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, Joe, I'm not sure what your idea process for Buddy was, but if you have time, please explain. Explain it in one second. I don't have time. No, I, uh, all right, there it is. is. <laughs> there it I is. thought of the most badass the animal in the world. In. I gave it a gun. Nice. Fuck Hell yeah. yeah. Piper and Dash don't take it slow, romance RP. Yikes. Mm -hmm. uh, Eli uses the time he has to craft and fix things. Uh, nopers. Almost. You notice Io become even smaller behind you. I'm gonna assume that means you guys depart from Io, uh, so I'll just check that off. It's in quotes, so I think they were expecting you to be like, as you look out the window, you see Io become but a speck, and ah. Europa. Uh, Damn it, Dodger, you just lost uh, us a bingo. Yeah, yeah. honestly. <laughs> Saying, just kidding, I don't mean any of that. <laughs> Saying like goodbye it, no, to- like <laughs> No, too late, too late. <laughs> God damn it, Dodger. Say, saying goodbye to my... Okay, I'll just click it because Dodger won't be here next week. I'm so, saying I goodbye... Mean, that's weird. Saying goodbye to Mama Hellebore. Uh, yes. Yeah. Buddy and Pitchy argue. Yes. Dash is a heart-to-heart -heart with Mama Hellebore. Yes. Space combat. Nope. Oh, so no. close. Aww. But we did get Pinchy Corndog RP, so there it is. Yay. <laughs> Bango. I love mom moments. Dodger got it right, said HB. Well, I'm going to check that then. No! Bingo Duck corrected it. I don't know what to tell you guys. Ah, Dodger. Isla Mom Moments. Mm, Not yeah. really. Okay, dude, Not today. But... Oh, wait. Yeah, she did go around and check on everybody oh, because true. of the age of leaders. True, true. Eli thinks of reason. improvements for Buddy's ship. Yes, because I think you were like, I can fix that. Yeah. Immediately did, yeah. Mama Hellboard knows about the boys being together. Yes, <laughs> and cursed pre-show talk. No, I don't think Wait, we had. What did we any talk about? I mean, we did have the birds are fake or real. That's, that's, not, that's not pre-show though. That's not pre-show. That's not pre -show. Well, what were we talking about? We did. We just jumped in. I, Why I did know we, we tell like... Brett to mute us again? Oh, because no, no, that, that was you. Character. Was just that was you. My health. I know it was me. Yeah. That doesn't mean I remember oh, why I, I said it. I know what we were talking about. We <laughs> were talking about us. Joe's villain arc. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, yeah, no. What the cow doesn't be going on? We didn't get bingo. We didn't get bingo. No bingo. Yeah. Guys. No bingo. But close, though. Close. We talked about him hatcheting a baby boy in the back of the head for views. <laughs> that baby boy did nothing to you. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> that sounds pretty cursed. Pretty cursed. Pretty cursed. Pretty cursed. Pretty cursed. Pretty cursed. Pretty cursed, pretty cursed. Gee, Joe made a cute new friend and just the betrayal. He put an axe to the back of that man's head. And then so, saved himself. 
and left. So, it was so bad. So I do have uh, a inquiry I'd like to give you folks. So Dodge is going to be gone next week. Um, we're uncertain because the internet sounds like it's, it might be spotty. Is is that correct, Dukes? Yeah, my parents have shitty internet when they're in the desert. So, um, we're going to go through some fan art today. There's no way we're going to finish it today. What if we make next week, instead of taking it off, a fan art day to clear the fan art log? So that way, Dukes can hop in and, and out. Does that sound like a I'm good down idea? I'm with that. And that way, yeah. depending on what Dukes' internet situation is like, Dukes can bounce back and forth. Does that work for you, or did you already have plans that day, Dodger? I mean, I have no plans while I'm out there. I just can't guarantee I'll be there at all. But um, that's fine. Yeah, that, yeah, that would create a situation where I I could potentially. Yeah, would and that it wouldn't uh, matter? <laughs> yeah, I was, I was gonna say, would that work for you? Where like you could see, you know, because you, I, <laughs> yeah. Guys, we know Dodger it camps out at the fan art channel. We know that for we we all. I've know seen that. it all. Yeah, <laughs> Dodger's <laughs> seen it all. Exactly. We're gonna need a whole episode of fan art. We're gonna need I'm a sorry? lot more fan art. We're gonna we're gonna need a lot more fan art for next week, right? <gasps> That's right, because Burns we have to fill lens. three hours. Yeah, yeah. we we mm-hmm. didn't finish last session's fan art. I know, right? and we're about to do yeah. that now. And I was told, G- gang, listen. I have been informed by 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 Jet. We have uh, about 108 submissions of fan. Oh my god! To go through, make it 100. Uh, not enough. As not of enough. right, one as for each minute. We need of, one for each minute. As of right now, so we need <laughs> enough to fill three hours of time. So yes. it, it so, is a dedicated fan art session. So yes. just saying that. So that's what I want. I wanted to add. Uh, that's what I wanted to suggest that we make tomorrow, uh, or not tomorrow. I apologize. Uh, next week, a fan art, uh, a fan art week. But if it's a fan art week. We need that good fan art. Gotcha. We're we're relying Betrayal. on you. Betrayal, yeah. Joe. Fuck you. Wait, what? We're relying oh, yeah. on you to give us your best fan art. Uh, the most smooches. Be- if you get one where the entire crew is smooching, great. Like some sort of multi. I don't know, like an what? old god esque smooch. That's right. Fuck nugget. I'm down. <laughs> Damn, we all kiss our <laughs> That's right, fuck nugget. That we, we we need all the fan art. <laughs> we need it. I love everyone's interpretations of what Buddy was gonna be. Me yeah, too. Like, this is badass cowboy. Joe and I were talking about it before the reveal, and Joe was like, "It it kills me because all of these designs are 100 percent a character I would play." It yeah, is just like that's not definitely this that one right there. It's so cool. I would play that 100. percent You're like son of a bitch. Fan artists doing that. Um, so here is uh, what happened uh, between episodes one and two. Uh, is Logan just telling his his entire story to Buddy? <laughs> oh my God. The the side is so funny. I love that. Yeah, it checks out. I got a slight idea for guessing Joe's new character. Look at this. Damn. Oh That's him in spirit. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Here's Joe, uh, potential Joe's character 37. That's pretty close. 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 That's, pretty close. That's, That's pretty the close. closest one. That's yeah. the closest one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll shake him, mate. Oh, I love boy. it. I like people on the table open. Yep. He Notters. be the god. I love that shirt, though. I actually want to own that shirt. <laughs> Hey, Smelly, say, why don't we blow this place and go back to my place? Hey, Smelly. Oh my god. Is, yes. is he flirting? I'm flirting with my undead. Leave me alone. <laughs> They're my only friends. <laughs> We've got. Uh, I thought we the... filmed a dash. Yeah. <laughs> Sobs. Uh, here's Isla uh, as 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 uh, Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, cool. Nice. Cute. Nice. And, nice. Uh, oh, it's to match the dash goofy oh, one that we saw. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> And here's Hell Boris Donald. Yeah. Oh, baby! <laughs> Let's go! I'm gonna assume that's the song oh, for me. Oh right? my god. I, love I love these Yamchas so oh much. Oh my god, god. Eugene! Aw, oh, it's Pinchy. Pinchy without a disguise. Oh, wow, oh, that's oh, really good. That looks so good. Sure, I like my mind. 
Mm. It reminds me of Men in Black 1. Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. God! Yeah. True? Didn't even think about that. Look at him. Oh, that's the lad. Oh, my mean. boy. What could have been, Joe? What could have <laughs> been? so badass. <laughs> <laughs> so badass. Yes. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Uh, it's just right, accurate. We uh, we call this picture the Goober Squad of all the Goobers in uh, in Io. Oh, <laughs> Look at the cute. size of that skeleton. Yeah, that do kind of be the Goober <laughs> Squad. Laura's character in the front is killing me. <laughs> 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 it's so good. So well, I, I Barry I, is just there. Yeah, <laughs> there's fuck you, Barry. I I said yesterday Barry is is Frieza. Like Barry's leading the the there. So, man. If Dead Beats was a Western, I mean, <gasps> dude, I saw this one. It's oh, so good. Absolutely. It's so good. Just going through each person is amazing. Like, they're so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dash, can we watch a horror movie now? Remember, Hayo made you special, and she loves you very much by watching Veggie Tales. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I loved Veggie Tales as a kid. This hits Me so too. hard. Oh, <laughs> I love Aww, pretty boy. color. Pretty mm. color. I like the textures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. What could have been, Joe? I really <laughs> like this one. This one's really good. Yo, cool. this one's so good. It's just egg but, but cooler. It's egg, yeah. It's egg but yeah, confidence. An ancestor of egg. Um, so we got a trigger warning body horror, and usually I don't show this off, but this one, it was, it's just so cool. <gasps> yeah. yeah nice. Getting that face, getting that face. I like face body dish. horror, it's fun. <laughs> you can't say it like that. I love body horror. I like body I horror, love it's body horror. Horror. Maybe we could stitch our bodies together. What, what could have been, Joe? What could have been? <laughs> that was, yeah, oh that was awesome. That would be so oh good. <laughs> That is my next Lions character. A Destroy design. a Tron. Destroy a Tron. That's it. That's it. That's my next character. But this is who we got by Mariah. Yo, so, so good. good. It's good stuff. Thank you, Mariah. <laughs> I may be all smiles and stories, but under. <laughs> wait, un, 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 underneath. Un, underneath. Underneath. Thank you. I'm very broody in mental agony. <laughs> I'll take this coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! I hate that he even looks like the one guinea pig from G Force. Oh my yeah, god! Uh, I need you to bring in a group of the G that's like based with G Force, so I can kill them all. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I gotta kill this meme, dead. <laughs> and now we've got we finally. I it's think this is our boy. this is our first buddy fan art right over yeah. here. Yeah, this is a good boy. Love him. Love him. Love yes. it! Oh, <laughs> so good. My boy. Best dog. Oh, Love it! Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh, that was when my skin was coming off. Oh, oh yeah, yeah your mucus right. body. <laughs> I hate that. I can yeah, the <laughs> mucus slug mode. Yeah, remember when you were all mucus? <laughs> I do. Good news, everyone. Everyone's eating well today. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's a seed. Oh, that's so good. So good. The puppy. Drop dead. Gorgeous. <laughs> I love these shirt puns. What? <laughs> the shirt what? puns are so good. Oh my god. Piper, when's the wedding? <laughs> Mom, no. no. <laughs> Be gone, that was, mother. That was basically the session. Yeah. He's fine, I think. <laughs> That's when everyone was high. Yeah. yeah. Or was it? No, you weren't high yet. Oh my god. No, I think was a gay detective. Mm, interesting. That was Still a fever dream. <laughs> Still in mental agony. Yeah. Always will be. What a, yeah. what a fucking session. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, so cool. Oh my I love god. it. Yeah, that's what it looks like back in the back of the room. That's how everybody saw it staring at them. Very cool Yikes. and normal. You'll very, figure something out, I'm very sure. Very socially adjusted individual, I promise. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. That's so good. Mom, what the fuck? The expressions are real good. 
patience Ooh. and great. I, oh. I, it's so good. Oh, I love every match. that. Peanut. Oh shit! Here it starts. Here, here we go. Here we go. It's time. <laughs> Peanut. I knew we'd be friends. <laughs> <laughs> The high art begins. You look like Mr. Burns in that. I bring you love. <laughs> I bring you peace. Mm. Amazing. Zaza. Zaza. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. Eli. Oh, good. Buddy, we're <laughs> tripping balls. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. Logan's uh, not here, man. I feel oh, great. Shit. Something's wrong. Did I die? I don't think so. But you look great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I still don't know what my mutation is. No! I'm stressed out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> is it me? Oh, me? Be -be. Be -be. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. I'm stopping dramatic. Too soon. Woe is me. Oh. <laughs> She's so dramatic. God, I love her. Oh, <laughs> oh when he was wrapped oh, in the towel. No. <laughs> oh no, the cracks. He's gonna fall, guys. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> 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 oh, my god! Oh, my god. Is that right? Boy. That's she's all right. <laughs> Cursed, absolutely cursed. That session that was. That was a rough day. <laughs> Pig in a blanket. We need more Budrito <laughs> images, please. Oh, so it's a good. guinea pig. All right, we're just gonna blanket. skip past this. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh that's my how God. you know. He's such oh. a gremlin. <laughs> Friendship ended with Victor. Now Buddy is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep Buddy forever. He's not allowed to leave now. Save yourself, Logan. Not without you, Buddy. <laughs> that was some intense, like, immediate bonding. They bonded yeah, so yeah, quick. Was... Guys, Eli needs a vacation. Oh, you know, yeah. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. True. We, do. we owe him one at this point. Oh, I really do. Could have saved in the workshop. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, I didn't even know what GeForce was until after Buddy was created. <laughs> oh, no. That would be I started sending GeForce gifts when you were introducing your character. Here, uh, cool. e here is uh, Eli trying to sleep. <laughs> Help me, Buddy! Uh. <laughs> you need this image and then the vacation one. Yep. Six months later. Yep. <laughs> oh, boy. Poor Eli. Chameleon Piper, what could have been? Oh, cool. Uh. See, Hellebore, really Hellebore would have loved it. Piper's way too vain, though. He's like, no, my skin is already bad. Don't do this. Logan, help! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what Terrifying. the fuck? His mouth. <laughs> oh, no. So I spoke to your father. Dash, it's okay. Chugging it, dude. Bro. <laughs> Oh, oh no. my god, Joe, can that be your in there, my man. picture? Oh my god! <laughs> it's amazing, I might have to make it, it's so good. Happen, happens to the best of us. Dating? Dating? No. 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 Uh, Eyebrow up? I see. Alas, poor Piper, I knew him well. Oh, he absolutely brought the, the head into space, by the way, it's in the bag. Oh, excellent. He couldn't leave it behind. He got tested. <laughs> All right, I think I, I think I get the really so the dating, not dating. I think is where yes. we're at right now. Yet, yeah. it's been changed since then. <laughs> okay, let's see. Raising dead funny guys. Mm. I love this art style so much. Hey, are we Me dating? too. <laughs> hey, are we dating? <laughs> look, at the, <laughs> look at the eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, She's like, huh? Pardon? <laughs> Hello? Oh, God. My head out? is that Isla is secretly, like, all about listening to other people's tea. Like, yeah. oh, she is. Tell me, the, tell me the drama. Tell me your drama. Tell Isla, me. Isla would never let anyone know that, but she she's all in. She, she loves she, gossip. <laughs> she loves that gossip in her head. Do you see this shit, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Now I'm just imagining that scene from that Nick Cage movie uh, where they're trying to get over the, the wall, but it's like only like three feet. Look, I'll send a clip. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know when we do that. <laughs> oh my god. Aw, Drask and I have come so far, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Love the murder, Sora. All right, so uh, I, I've got great news for you all. Uh, we yeah! just finished the fan art of session two. Yay! Hey! We didn't hey! even start hey! on the session for the fan art for session three. Yay! Hey! <laughs> so we'll we'll go through all that next week, plus whatever uh, uh, other fan art everyone works on. But I'm very excited for next week. Hey y'all, we gotta fill three hours. Fan artists, looking at you. It's true. <laughs> if we may, if we look at one piece of art every twenty seconds, we need three. We need well, what is that? Uh, someone do the math. <laughs> don't, feel don't feel pressure. Don't feel pressure. Don't feel pressure. Five hundred and forty. No. Five hundred and forty pieces don't of pressure art. them. Don't Look, pressure them. I wasn't them. gonna give a number. <laughs> do not pressure them. Uh, Let their hands rest. Let their hands breathe. Let their hands rest. <laughs> there are two types of people in this world. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I will see you all next time. Thanks for playing. I'll Thank see you all next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.